I've been up all night Trying to try, try. get my mind right Mind right, right. you slipping on me, homie Tell them haters night, night Taking shots to keep it I aim at the right height Don't mess with my dogs I know that they might bite like, uh to the metal. If they wanna come and get it, it's totally the better weather I'm a veteran, tell them that I'm ahead of them And never will I settle until I receive the credit What you know, man, 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 when I'm spitting, we divide up my truth You couldn't hang if I tied you a noose Look, ain't no way that you can walk on my shoes They too big, what you think, boy, you out of the loop I'm from the back, boys, but I rap good, I'm the top one You're not one, I got the flow, when they feel it mine I keep it popping like a sawed off shotgun Back to hit the nays, y'all, low count And high, hold up in my really that nice, all right Flow too go, give a rapper's frostbite If you wanna come and get it, I promise that you will end up wearing no red Trying to be a south pal Two jabs to the dome with a shoe foul Three stars in a circle from a south, yo I'm making moves, they'll be asking where the U-Haul I know that they want it They will never take it from me I've been up all night Just trying to get my mind right Ambition doesn't start in a dream I've been up all night Trying, trying, trying to get my mind right But my mind wrong Never cared about a clock Was the time gone I'm only 20 years old And I've been looking for gold But never thought that maybe I should turn the light on Yeah Had a little weed Did a little time Never was a thief Never hit a line Always made up an excuse To justify Back in my brain Was saying change Was left behind Last chance Do I punt or do I go for it Four down And I got nothing to show for it Marshawn Lynch In the backfield Down set hut Beast mode Move the chain forward Put my D in the end zone, third degree burns on the paper, then my pen zone. Go ahead and set your own pace, but I've been gone. Bad talking broads have banished me to the friend zone. Down to half a bottle of Benadryl. Couldn't catch a Z if it was popped in the center field. Welcome to TSSN Radio, the official radio for the Spear Sports Network. We're here live right here in Comont, Tennessee at the Pickett Stadium for this week nine matchup between the Grundy County Yellow Jackets and your Sequatchie County Indians. I'm Marcia Thompson here with my co-host Robert Easterly. You bye. Robert, let's we'll start with Grundy. I mean, what can we expect from well, them? Yeah, uh, well, the Yellow Jackets are one in seven and haven't shown anything in the film we've seen to be a problem for the Indians. And... Most of the teams they've lost to is people that Squatchy's beaten, like uh, Whitwell and, of course, York, which is in our district. And I don't think Grundy has too much for us. What about uh, Indians, Archer? Well, the Indians were really impressive last week. They had a 42-0 to win against Cannon County. And, uh, I mean, they just played great. Yeah, they did. They, uh, they did. They yeah. sent four players to the hospital last week. Well, actually, I don't think they went to the hospital, but they put them on the sidelines. Well, one of them, we thought he broke his neck, but – it turns out he uh, stretched a muscle, and they was holding his muscle. Oh, that's good. I'm glad he didn't break his neck. Oh, and uh, future update on Zane Swanner, he is done for yeah, the season. Is, which means he's done for the – He's Squatch done County. playoffs and all. He is done. Yep. That's that's sad. It is. But Kyle Cates is back with us tonight. That no, That's a good thing. Somebody's got to replace Zane for tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know – Exactly what score to predict for tonight, but I definitely think we're gonna walk away with a good win. Yeah. Ma maybe, maybe even a scoreless game. I'd like to see another scoreless game like last week, or maybe even Whitwell. Well, Whitwell did score on us, but that was they with about fourth, fifth string in. <laughs> yeah, they scored against our JV. Yeah, big time JV. So I mean that that's to be expected. And uh, here's the biggest story on this: Maynard, of course, our quarterback, was with Sequo was with Grundy last year. And threw the game-winning pass for Grundy against Sequatchie last year. Yeah. If he throws a game-winning pass in this game for Sequatchie, it'll be game of the week. It'll be uh, I mean, he'll be different. Big. Well, I, I know Maynard's playing against everybody that he knows. Yeah. Especially all these other seniors from Grundy. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the only kind of thing, like, score-wise, that would be kind of cool. Like, if it came down to uh, 
an, an overtime situation like it did last year, and Maynard did throw a winning pass. Oh, but yeah. I, I don't think it will even come close to that this year. I mean, I think we'll just have him blown out of the water. So, uh, we don't know if we can hear if you can hear us right now. We're uh, we, Chandler's got us on a new setup on our radio here. Yep. Okay. That, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's good. I, I think you guys can hear us now. Okay. So we're there. We go. If you didn't hear any of the beginning, you know most of it because we say about the same stuff every week. <laughs> but uh, we change it up, of course, every week. Uh, well, Archer was Chan- – we had to use Chandler's phone because uh, he's got data and uh, me and Archer don't. <laughs> so Archer's phone is with Chandler right now. So, Brittany, if you're listening, Archer ain't got his phone. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm expecting a pretty fun game tonight, though. I'm expecting Maynard to throw some yardage on this game. I hope J- he does. Just because he wants to. Yeah. The tribe is over there packed. The tribe is pinking it out for breast cancer awareness. Along with the band, they've got their pink feathers on top of their hats. Yeah. Which is, uh, the pink out was kind of a last-minute thing for the – uh, yeah, the they, uh, they announced it this morning in school. Uh, we were originally having a blackout, and then they, uh, whoever the leaders are now, decided to change it. I think it was Sydney. I think decided to change it. Yeah, I, I don't even think he's handing up much stuff now. But he might be still. Okay, Grundy County is lining up for their kickoff. They have won the toss again. On uh, like we talked about last week, Grundy's got a few more players than uh, Cannon County does, but oh, the, the varsity back. lineup. I think the back County? of Grundy County's lineup for their uh, to receive the kickoff. Yeah, they're receiving. Squatchy will get the ball after halftime. I, f- I forgot that crucial receiving part. That that's a pretty big difference. Yeah, you got to say <laughs> that. Uh, but like I said before, Cannon County only had thirty varsity players. Well, technically, only thirty players on the whole team. And Grundy only has about 40, and Squatchy's over there with about 65. Yeah. That, that are dressed up. It looks like Grundy County's theme tonight is country. But it, we are in Grundy County, so that just might be the regular attire. That is the regular attire <laughs> I live over here. Uh, our pregame meal was sponsored by my mother tonight. <laughs> uh we got us some meatloaf on the way up the mountain this morning. That this was this evening. That was good. That was good. It was good. Okay. Austin got his own little personal one since he don't like onions. <laughs> All right. On to the kickoff. Abraham back to kick. Oh, we didn't give him the roster, Archer. Well, we'll just call him out as the game goes on. Yep. Ooh. And uh, ooh, oh, oh. he muffs the kick and he jumps on it down at the 25 yard line. Wow, why did he even try to catch that? I guess he just thought he had it, but that's uh, a dangerous, it, dangerous move to make whenever you go to grab the ball. He threw it right through his hands. Yeah, when you well, go to grab the ball right through his hands. and you don't get it, it's a live, I mean, it's already a live ball, but that, that slows it down and that puts it into a bad situation. Well, it's already a live ball, especially on a kickoff. That's what I was saying. It's yeah. already a live ball, but it, it after it passes the it all. ten yard mark anyway. That's it why is. you get flags if you don't kick it far enough on Yeah. Right, I'm gonna have to pick up my mic, guys. And Grundy looking like they're gonna run the shotgun. Yeah, their their offense is our old offense from last year. Well, yeah, it ought to be. I mean, didn't we have Coach Tate as a coach last year? We Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had Coach Tate as linebacker coach. As linebacker coach. I hear first day practice. Well, boys, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, so you're going to help me out a little bit. Well, Coach, that's what you're here for. <laughs> well, now, now he's uh, the head coach for Grundy. Yeah, I know. Ooh! Oh! And the ball comes out in Indian football, I do believe. Whoa. Alex Turner picking up the fumble. He caused the fumble. They picked up the fumble. <laughs> wow. Indian football on the first play of offense. Man, this came, wow. this came right out of the backfield. Alex hit, Turner hit the knocked it. I don't. Who's number four, Archer? You got the roster. Number four on our team? No, their team. Nunley. No. no. Ethan Nunley. Ethan Nun. Wait, don't we have an Ethan Nunley in Squatchy? We do. <laughs> I reckon it's Two different. Ethan Nunley. Well, Ethan Nunley got about knocked out. 
And, uh, of course, sorry if I was yelling at anybody. Uh, well, Alex Turner got the ball. And now yep. we're on offense on the 23 or 24-yard line. No, the 20-yard line. A big pile in the middle of the field wow. there. We're already surprised. <laughs> wow. Well, like I said, I think it's going to be a fun game. <laughs> this uh, this shall be a fun game. That but is a <laughs> rud on that last carry. Yeah, that'll be about three yards now, second and seven. Yeah. Was that Kinger coming in at quarterback? I think he's going out wide oh, receiver. Oh, wide receiver. He's actually wearing his actual number this Oh, yeah, last week. Uh, Keener <laughs> left all his stuff at the field house. And, and Brandon uh, Rudd, oh, Brandon Rudd, Rudd going in for a touchdown. Wow. Nobody even knew he had the ball. He just went right through the middle. I mean, there was no – nope. just, just walked right through. Just nobody, <laughs> touched, nobody touched him. They, no. He faked him out. He, wow. It looked like he didn't have the ball. Well, touchdown Sequatchie County. They thought they had tackled Maynard going up the middle. I think they're just in it to hit Maynard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, but, that's 50 seconds off the clock, and there's already a touchdown for Squatch County. I was talking to Rudd this morning, and they said, he said that there were tweets all over the Internet about them wanting to kill Brandon Rudd and don't say anything about Maynard. Kenner to hold the kick, Abraham to kick it. It is, it is down center. Good kick. As a successful extra point, the score is now 7-0 Squatch County with 11 minutes and 10 seconds left on the clock yep. in the first quarter. Wow. I mean, that's a that's a heck of a way to start a game. Now, hey, I forgot about this. Last week we told you that Cannon County had a girl on their team. So does Grundy. Yes. Uh, She's number 85. Not entirely sure of what she plays. It should say on her roster here. It says uh, 85, Christine Anderson. Wide receiver slash free safety. Whoa, okay. And she's, she's a junior. I didn't remember playing it like, back in middle school, uh, playing a game against her. But I think she kicked it that Cannon time. Cannon Counties was a kicker. Yeah. Girls are a lot of times kickers because they can kick really well. Most of well, them. most of them play soccer whenever they kick yeah. for a football team. It's going to be a little different because, like I said, you know, you're usually being kickers. You don't see them out on the field quite uh, as much. But yeah. we'll see how how much playing time she gets. Yeah. That would be pretty cool if she got the. It would be pretty nice. That uh, I'd like to see her get some playing time. I don't even. Oh, I see her down, the, down on the sidelines now. She's got her hair rolled up in her helmet, I guess, because I can't say none of it. I was gonna say you she's got to. a head of blonde hair. We saw her before the game had started. Okay, Squatch County lined up for the kickoff. Abraham off. to kick again. This is his third time lining up to kick. One <laughs> once for a field goal, and we're not even out of the twelve minute mark. We're out of the eleven minute mark. The same oh play. wow! They pick up the kick that time. Ooh. Ooh. That he got sandwiched yeah. by it's his own player and one of ours. Yeah. The same kid that tried to catch it last time and missed it, caught it this time. and I don't think that was the same one. Yeah, it was number 80, same guy. No. You number sure? 60 just caught it. Oh. Well, same position, same same area on the field. Same area, yeah. It's, they look, it's they might, difficult they to might pull, They might pull the other person out. But, yeah, it came up and got just hammered. Oh, yeah. The ball is now on the uh, – the 42 or 43? Yeah, somewhere right in there. First and 10 for Grundy County Yellow Jackets. Lining up shotgun with four wide receivers and a running back. Oh, oh and man. Wow. Takes way, oh. too, takes way too long in the backfield. Is that Tanner Hill? <laughs> no, that's Kyle Cates getting a sack on that play. Getting back in the game. Oh, yeah. Kyle, we told you right before the game started, Kyle Cates is now back in and then. Zane came out for the rest of the season. Yep, he's he's officially done for Quachi County football. I wonder if them colleges are still going to want him with a blown-out knee, though. I mean, it's not as bad as Billy Morrison's or anything, but yeah, who knows? I we'll feel find sorry out. for Billy. He tore the three different things in his yeah. knee. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Michael Meter. Yeah, Michael Meter might he be. He was in a car accident the Sunday after last week's game, and. Uh, he has broken his neck and is in surgery, I do believe, today or tomorrow. Don't exactly know how that happened. And he throws the pass, finally getting a completion. Well, he brought, that's the first pass he's actually got to throw. Yeah. Uh, he, I think he makes it down to the back. Uh, back one to yard the, gain from the original. Uh, original 
Uh, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're stuttering a bit. We got to get back into it. We've been in school for a week. <laughs> it's now third and down, nine yards to go. Third and down? Third and Third and nine. All right. Well, you all have to pick it up a little bit, Archie. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry we're talking like this. We're trying to be from Grundy. <laughs> I'm already from Grundy. Oh, oh interception. interception. Whoa. What? And he might go. He will. Maybe not. I thought <laughs> Kyle had the ball. <laughs> no. Alex Turner picked up that. Alex Turner on a fumble recovery and an interception. Look at that. He's going for MVP player tonight. Hey, I think you might get it already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's Quachi Ball, first and ten at the 35-yard line. Yeah. The score is seven to zero against the Grundy area. Against the Grundy County Yellow Jackets. How much time do we have left on the clock, there, Robert? Uh, nine minutes and 19 seconds, and it is seven nothing. Wow! In the first quarter, Indians are doing good tonight. Yeah, they had a score on the board before uh, the 12 and a half minute mark. Or the 11 and a half minute mark. Road up the middle once again. Getting about two or three, I do believe. Got a little farther than I thought he was going to get because yeah. uh, that line was uh, full. Grundy County is playing a little bit mean tonight. Well, like I said earlier, there was other kinds of tweets about them wanting to put it on Brandon Rudd. They didn't yeah. say nothing about Maynard, which surprised me. Which, I mean, I, this is another one of those rivalry games. It's not as quite as – This is not as bad as, like, us and blood so, so, but, but – Now, in basketball – the uh, Squatchy nah, Grundy ooh, game. That's the girls. It's ba- it's bad. It is serious. The girls are like straight up swinging each yeah. other. I'm Brandon mean, Rudd up the off no, the edge, up the middle, off it's the edge there, off tackle. Only reason I know that's because I play Madden Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a gain of a yard. It's now third and seven for the Indians. I've never been a running back before. <laughs> I don't know these plays. I've been a lineman, a defensive lineman, and a linebacker before. And a kicker. <laughs> shoot for the hole. Yeah, they shoot for whatever gaps open. Maynard in shotgun once again. Kobe Reed out to the side. He gets behind Rudd. Rudd's got him some yardage. Oh, wow. He's, going he's up got there. a first down and more. He gets about 10 yards more than a first down. Yeah, that's about a 17-yard wow. run right there. I think he says he's on the... 11 yard line? No, he's going to. No. no, he's moving back. Oh, flag on Squatchy. Well done. I don't. I didn't get to see what the flag was for. I do believe it was holding. I though. think I think it looked like it was holding. He's kind of. It was a side line referee there that yeah. was doing the motion. Well, it says Rudd was holding. Yeah. I didn't see Rudd hold anybody. I didn't either. I saw him knock somebody over. <laughs> yep. And, against the Quachy uh, County. I'll back us up. For about third and fifteen. Fifteen. Ugh. Wow. Well, there goes that good play down the drain. But that was about a twenty yard run by Colby Reed. Yeah, it was. And then uh got called back with Rudd on the holding call apparently. And Maynard. Kobe Reed on the outside this time with a pass. Oh, and he's juked him out. Oh. Wow, good play by Kobe. It looked like Co- that one Colby. where he broke that kid's ankle. Yeah, last Kobe week. has been juking people out left and right. Last few for games. the past three games. I mean, last week against Cannon County with a 99-yard touchdown interception. Warning to up call back. Please tape your ankle before you come to the game. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, with duct tape. <laughs> Golly. Austin's up here playing with duct tape trying to fix her camera right now. <laughs> Squatch County lines up. In a strange formation. Three wide receivers, one back. Maynard out to pass. Got Kobe Reed wide open, but he throws it. To, no, he did throw it to Kobe. Who was that on the outside? That's Keener. Keener, yep. He had Keener in the end zone, but I don't think he wanted to throw it that far. Yeah, he was covered up. He, he wasn't covered. Was he Was it not? He was, had nobody on him, but I don't. Maynard was standing in a position where he couldn't throw it that way. Yeah. He, he was run passing, kind of. And Grundy is going to call a timeout. Coach Tate's on the field. Screaming at him. Yeah, that was He's en- throwing papers in their face. Yeah, that was enough for a first down. By the way, it'll be first. It and, is. A f- yeah, it'll okay. be first and ten at the. It looks like uh, 15, 14 yard line. Are you sure about that? I think that's on the. Yeah, you're right. If you're it right. was inside the ten, it would Never be. Mind. They would be no, first. I, and th- go- I thought it was on the twenty. Oh, okay. 
I'm a, I can't see. Yep. We're we're sitting on the forty <laughs> of the of uh, yeah of Sequatchie right now. The score again is seven to nothing, Sequatchie County Indians. We we actually got a spot in the press box once again this week. It's always it's always a it's always a, a fight for the press box. It is. Has <laughs> been for past four or five games. Well, yeah, four yeah. or five. Yeah, about right. <laughs> but of course, South Pittsburgh we didn't have to fight for a spot. No. South Pittsburgh's press box was impressive. That was a nice press box. I, I liked it. That's when I was still learning how to talk on this radio. Yeah. Squatchy <laughs> County's coming back out. Maynard back to shotgun with two wide receivers this time. Hands Rudd going to run it. No, that's Austin Stevens. Oh, it's Austin Going Austin in Stevens. for the touchdown. Oh, he's a oh, – He was uh, about he five was, yards short, but he – That looked like Rudd. He, he was, was running like Rudd. He was running like Rudd, but he juked out like Kobe Reed. <laughs> that was impressive. He juked so I, th- I thought he was going to go free. He got brought down by his ankles there at the – about the five-yard line. Yeah, it's about on the five or six. I'll be first in goal. On the six, I want to say. Yeah, six-yard line. Can't see Austin's cameras in the way here. <laughs> uh, Archer can see. Or I can see to. just fine. All right, good, because I can't. <laughs> Indians line up ready for the snap. They bring Colby. Uh, they bring Alex oh. turn around across, but. Maynard's going out the middle, middle for, for a touchdown. touchdown. Nice play by Man. Maynard. Touchdown, Sequatchie County Indians. I knew Maynard was going to at least get one in on Grundy. Oh, yeah. And now it'll be 13-0. Nothing. Nothing at 625 first quarter. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure Abraham was going to help yeah. us get that to 14-0. Put it right through the Put it down the center once again. He, he kicked kick. a perfect kick right there oh, on that last one. Looked beautiful. Keener is the – Keener's I was talking to Abraham. Well. He said Keener was the only one that could And that's a good one. extra point right there. Yeah. 14 nothing, Squatchy County Indians. With how much time left in the game here? Six minutes? 625. 625. And uh, go ahead and give you a timeout. granny has got two left, and squatchy has got all three there. Well, from this right here, I'm going to predict that it's going to be a close to about a 40 nothing game unless we start putting in JV and they score on JV. Uh, that's all I see. <laughs> I don't know. It might be worse than that. Cause it might be. When we put in JV for Whitwell, they barely scored on our JV. But Whitwell destroyed Grundy County. Well, but Whitwell played Grundy at the very beginning of the season. And this is the very end of the season now. So, Grundy can be a different team to that's an extent. True. That's true. That, that's something a lot of people kind of forget. That teams change, you know. You can hit a peak early or you can hit your peak late. And, uh, you know, yeah. if, you're, if you're still rising – you know, but usually, if you've lost so many games as Grundy County has, you kind of lost your your gumption a little bit. But a good game against Squatch County always brings yeah. it back up. The <laughs> the game we're truly worried about tonight is the Upperman to Cab game. If Upperman beats the Cab, and we beat Grundy, then Upperman to Cab and Squatchy are all tied for number one spot in our district. Yeah, and Mercy. if that happens, then. They go off of how many points you've scored in the season for your top spot. So we it we're in the big running for that one. Yeah. Oh, good kick by Abraham. He puts it down on the twenty. Ooh, oh, Alex I, Turner getting ear hold. Yeah, just Goodness. about how to tackle and somebody came up and hit wow. him. almost a block in the back. I think that was Kobe Reed on the. That was Kobe Reed on tackle. Him and uh, who's number forty five? Number forty five. Our time. Uh, oh. Um, we don't have a roster with us. We had a no. We uh, we, had we loaned it to my Granny County bass fishing coach. Uh, he's the announcer up here for Pickett Stadium. Brett Hicks. Oh, that was Chris Beckwith on tackle. Chris Beckwith. Yep. He's not forty-five. He's fifteen. Yeah, I guess it was fifteen on tackle. Oh well, I guess it was Kobe and uh, Beckwith on the tackle. Yeah. I guess I we saw just saw Kobe. I guess we just saw number on there. Yeah. It's fifteen instead of forty-five. And, uh, wow. That wasn't much of a run. No, they got maybe a few inches. Uh, if, I think they got a oh, two, I, yard, I wow, got two, two yards. yards. I'm not, I guess the pile, like, he probably stretched his arm out a little bit, got more yards that way. He had to. <laughs> yeah. As I counted where his knees went out, he was, yeah, had about a half a yard. But, oh, yeah. We're trying to watch Tanner Reel a little bit tonight, see if he can get some good tackles in. Yep. 
We've already got it. My God, Austin, are you shaking the press box? Who's doing that? Well, it's not much of a press box. It's yeah, a we're not shaky. in much of a. <laughs> I think the wind's just blowing that way. <laughs> and uh, going the on quarterback the gets destroyed. That would be Tanner Real and tackle. Tanner Real. And then Kyle and Kate's I'm, on the assist. Are you sure that's Kyle? No, yep. Tanner Real on the main tackle and Kyle Kate's on the assist. Yeah, Kyle. That is Kyle. Number that two. looked like Brandy Rudd. I was like, who's that? No game you know why that jersey fits on him, right? Which one? Kyle. Oh. Because Hayden Hicks wore it last year. <laughs> <laughs> True. That's the that's the only new jersey Sequatchi doesn't have this year is the away jerseys, but they still look pretty good. Yeah. Uh they got new pants and everything this season and then now they've swapped to the white helmets, which we've never had. We've always like had em. gold or purple. I like them. Coach Kane did a good choice on that one. Oh yeah. That was the first thing he told us when he came in. He's like, adios. That's gold and purple helmets. We're doing why. Is that even legal? I didn't know you could do that in high school football. And I think that'll be a flag unless Coach Tate called timeout. Let's do a flag on the field. Oh, a delay of game on Grundy County. But, yeah, he put him in motion, so that is a legal play. I'd no, say, no, I was talking about the audibles, the way he was calling the audibles. Oh. I mean, I know you can do that in the NFL and college. I didn't know you could do it that way in high school. But they, the linemen were not set, so technically I guess he could. Yeah, I remember doing that with Coach Cockwood last year. Uh I don't even mention Coach Cockwood. Uh, who, who, yeah. <laughs> I don't lie. I was uh, no fan of Coach Cockwood at he all. He was supposed to be our state championship coach, and uh, we anything, didn't even go to the playoffs. Yeah, anything Archer, but Archer, why is our screen fuzzy? I should change my screen. I hope so. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with our uh, podcast here. It, if anything, it might be the connection cord to it. Yeah. But. Okay, and he's back to pass, and it's blocked by Kyle Cates. Alex Turner's going to go jump on it just to make sure. <laughs> Kyle Cates. Dude. That was a good play. Alex Turner. I thought he was going to intercept it. Alex Turner, Kyle Cates, and Colby Reed are doing great tonight. Alex Turner already has a fumble recovery, a fumble. like He forced the fumble, a fumble recovery, and an interception with yards on it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just defense. I don't think he's played offense tonight. Not much if he has. I mean – well, he doesn't play too much. Oh, and that kick about gets uh, messed up, and it still got messed up. Kyle Cates going to pick it up and run with it. Whoa. I think oh, he's going to – he got a touchdown. Wow, touchdown Squatch County, unless they maybe call it out. No. No, they call There's it – There's no flag. Okay. Well, he, he was right there on the edge, so I thought, well, maybe he might have stepped out, but he got no, it. No, he didn't. He, he put his foot in there. Oh, the re- yeah. The rest are down there discussing it, but I'm pretty sure that's a touchdown. Yeah. Unless there was a flag that I didn't see. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, there was. Dad gummit. Blocking the back. I didn't even see a flag on the field. So, uh, I don't know what these refs are calling. They, they've had two without flags on the field. The first, yeah, the first, that one they first flag. It, there, was no, there was no flag. They, that second one, there was a flag. And then that third one there. Uh, They don't know what they're doing. Blocking the back. It's Quatchy County. There was no blocking the back. We were watching that. Maybe off the side somewhere, but I mean, off what side? The one that Austin's on, the where I can't see. I guess, yeah, but <laughs> I didn't see anyone like along the path Kyle was running. Oh no, path Kyle was running was blocked perfectly, which is where the flag was thrown supposedly because that's where they were discussing. Yeah. Well, they so, still want to. <laughs> and, uh, I guess they just don't want to score off of a fumble or anything like that. But yeah. Brandon Rudd up the middle getting demolished. That's the only player they're not letting get yards is Brandon Rudd. Yeah. They were really going hard on Brandon Rudd. Well, they he said st- they were going to. But, you know, he still got – He still he, got a touchdown. He got the first touchdown. Yeah, he still got decent yards on that. He got three yards. And then who got the last touchdown? Maynard got the last touchdown. Yeah. But speaking of which, the score is still 14 nothing with four left in the – four minutes left in the first quarter since Chandler told us to say it every five minutes. <laughs> Even though it been Man, I wish less Kyle would have gotten that one. Oh, wow, gosh. Kyle. If you had gotten that touchdown. Buddy. Maynard goes out on the side. Maynard. Passes oh, it. Oh, perfect pass. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. He almost what a pass. Throws it to Colby Reed. He's right there on the sideline. Keeps that was an NFL reception right keeps there. Keeps it inbounds and almost gets the touchdown before like tripping out. But he's wow right there at about the three-yard line. Wow. Man. Colby Reed, you amaze me, man. 
Yeah. That was an NFL style catch. And Maynard that that was a really good throw too. By Maynard. We've had we've had a lot of those here lately. We've had some some, some professional looking plays. <laughs> It's been a fun season. Maynard back in the backfield once again. Who has the ball? Brandon Rudd's Rudd. got the ball. Oh, did you see that spin move? Yes. Wow. He just I kept told on. you NFL play. <laughs> Gosh. Wow, what a play by Brandon Rudd. Now it'll be, what will it be? It'll be 20 nothing in the first quarter with 3.36 left. Oh, my goodness. This is a runaway game already. And we're yeah. in the first quarter. <laughs> now, last week. Grundy was beating York 38-16, to and York came back in the second half and made it 48-38, not letting Grundy score anymore, and York. And the extra point nothing. is good. Yeah, it is. 21 nothing. Good kick by Abraham once again. First quarter. They're tiring Abraham out. He's already kicked it six times. <laughs> well, this will be the sixth time Kicker, anyway. Kickers aren't used to that kind of activity. Not in the first quarter. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Ethan Barker will get to punt tonight or not. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I guess that's a pretty good thing not to have to do. I mean, it's a good thing, but he's got to have practice for Epperman because I'm sure we'll have to punt at least once for Epperman unless they Man, just got, don't show up. We got all week to practice for them. Oh, yeah. Let's beat the crap out of Grundy County. <laughs> yeah, let's, <laughs> we'll move on. Let's whoop wait, up wait. on the country county in the. And, and we really <laughs> do need to get the points tonight. Because we have to have them. Because so, whenever they go and – do the tiebreakers for our first seed position, it's based on points. Yeah. And Coach Kane has been, you know, letting JV come in, which is a good thing, but it does, has hurt us on some points, you know, compared to decal. Yeah. But, I mean, I think we'll oh. still be okay. Okay. You there know, we but I, we need to get the extra points if we can get them tonight. And uh, Abraham back to Kent once again. He's taking an extra step. You see this? Yeah. Wait, no, that's Ethan Barker. Yeah, it is Ethan Barker. What's Ethan Barker? I guess wow. Abraham got that tired, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My goodness. He, he went, oh, he got some yardage. Yeah, he got, he come, he got it at the 20, and now he's at about the 38-yard line. He got about 18 yards. That's a Ethan Barker kicker on the tackle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I used to do that all the time in backyard football. I'd have to kick it, and nobody else would go get him, so I'd hit him. We need to get a backyard football league started. Why do we need a back fo- backyard football league? <laughs> y'all are whiny. Y'all don't. Y'all want to wear pads and helmets? I just want to hit somebody. <laughs> Gunny has the ball at the thirty-eight yard line. First and ten, about to snap the ball. Wow! And they're going to run oh. up the middle. Oh no! There is no run up the middle. <laughs> That's a sack. <laughs> I think that was Alex Turner. I couldn't catch the other point. Kobe Reed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just sacked that on a run play. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was a that was a great play they, by Alex Turner. Alex Turner read that play perfectly. Well we we he ran it all last year. We've we know this offense like the so back of our well. hand. So well. Coach Tate what? made a mistake in playing their plays this week against us. We know pretty much every one of their plays unless yep. they made a couple new ones. I mean we could literally be down there calling their their plays out. Yeah. You know, I did see uh one good play from Grundy against Cannon. It was a 87-yard reception touchdown. Oh, wow. Another uh, tackle in the backfield now. That puts him all the way back to what's going to be, it looks like, third and almost 20. Yeah. No. no third and 15. 15. Third and 15. All right. You see number 80 down there for Grundy, Archer? Number 80 for Grundy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. He's probably the only kid. In high school football right now with an 87-yard reception touchdown. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he's he's on a team that's 1-7. That's that's not a good that's not a good team to be on. But, but the team that they beat, we beat 42 to nothing last week. Yeah. Well, Cannon, Cannon County. County is the one team that they beat this season. I'm not surprised. Uh, the way they're playing right now, no. He's back to pass. He gets the pass off, but oh, oh, he does catch it. He does. Did you see that? Yeah, he the, he caught he, it like he hit it. Like the ball no, hit his hands. Uh, somebody tipped it. Who tipped it? I couldn't see the player that was on him, but he tipped it and still caught it. And then he got drilled by the yeah. other player behind him. 
Good play by the defense, not letting him get too far with that, but it'll be fourth and eight. And a bunch. Yeah, fourth and eight, maybe seven. Fourth and Ohio. <laughs> uh, Either way, they're going <laughs> to punt the ball again, and hopefully it's going to be as unsuccessful as a punt. Omaha, Omaha. And uh, Troy Sanders back there to receive the punt. Oh, he oh, drops the ball. And he muffs it. Oh, oh, he's getting some yardage, but I'm pretty sure he's going to get tackled. Coach Shane will be uh, probably – a little mad at some players there. He, he Just for missing tackles. Missing tackles. But I'm sure he's happy because we have the, the ball. ball's on Grundy's side of the field on about the 28-yard line. What is this man in camo doing out here? Is he one of the coaches? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's just staying out there on the – Oh, no, he's a ball holder. He's a ball holder. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, uh, I think he's a middle school football player for Grundy. In which uh, – Grundy County's middle school football team is amazing. Their high school team is not too hot. Ooh. Oh, Kobe Reed getting some First yardage. First down. First down and maybe a yard or two more. Wow. No flag on that play, surprisingly. Every time Kobe Reed picks up the ball, <laughs> except on that one pass he caught. I love how Grundy <laughs> County's uh, shooting little poppers now that they just lost the ball and had a first down. <laughs> oh, I see. One of my fishing buddies up here, <laughs> he brought in some fireworks, thinking that Grundy might win this game. I think. He I mean, he he delivered them. He he left right after he brought them because he he thought that Squatchy was gonna put it on. Him. Yeah. Oh, Maynard up the middle. He might wow. score. No, he gets down to about the two yard line. He almost wow. scored. Wow, good play by Maynard. Yeah, that was a that was a really good play. The um, I thought that uh, Colby had the ball at first because he had such a good fake. That was a good fake by Colby, which is why that one play worked so good. Where we didn't even know Maynard had the ball and he ran a touchdown. Yeah, or was it Maynard? I can't remember. No, that was Austin. Stevens Brandon Rudd ran it. goes in for a touchdown again. Touchdown, wow. Squatch County. There's no flags on the play, but there is a Gundy County player getting up a little slow. Who is that? Number number 80. 80? No, 37. 37? Okay. I don't know where you got 80. Well, I was looking at number 80. I think there was 80 and 37 both getting up slow. Uh, you got 18 seconds in the first quarter. It's 27 nothing. <laughs> wow. This is the highest scoring game in the first quarter I just of that. the whole entire football season. If we keep this pace up, we could literally go – 120 nothing. <laughs> if we go 120 nothing, we've already won district. <laughs> as long as Upperman gets beat by the cap. The cab win that ball game. <laughs> I don't know. They might actually lose on purpose just so Upperman has the first seed instead of us. Nobody loses on purpose. That's Marion County did that one time. But well, that was my freshman year when I was still playing. Marion County's a little. Uh, That's when uh, Coach. Uh, no, that was in middle school. My bad. They're, they're a little more strategic on that kind of stuff, I guess. That was middle school. My bad. <laughs> Marion County's actually in our district in middle school. Yeah. Do you remember the. Uh, back a year or two ago, whenever they had that issue with the vandalism? Oh, man. That was. One of our uh, old coaches from Little League actually got in trouble for that. Yeah. Coach uh, Smith. Coach Smith. I can't remember his first name. He coached me in middle school, too. Yeah, like yeah he was a, he was a, what do you call it, assistant coach. Yeah. Okay, it's Squatch County up to kick. Ethan Barker back at kicker again. Wow. He's kicking it pretty deep, too. Yeah. Deep kick once again. Down to about the 20. He picks it up once again. Alex Turner almost getting the tackle. Oh. Ooh. Was that Tanner real? Yes, it was Tanner Real. Woo, what a hit. I mean, he was already almost down, but he was still up. He was kind of running through uh, yeah, Brent got- Hicks. Not Brent Hicks. Uh, Brent Gray. Yeah. And <laughs> Tanner Real come up there and just about knocked his helmet him. off. Just drilled him, man. Wow. Big hit by Tanner Real. Where's my phone? Oh. <laughs> well, Grundy has the ball at the 36-yard line. Be first and ten. Lined up under the center. He's going to hand the ball off. Oh, no, he no, doesn't hand it off. off. He goes up the middle. Pulls the guys off play. He, he pulled a Maynard play. 
These Austin plays are hard to, hard to read at we first. We read it pretty good. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Oh, where's, this, where's the yard marker? Right there. That's, I was about to gain a five, five yards. Yard. That's, that's who is who did we say number four is? Ethan Nunley. Ethan Nunley. Well, be Ethan second. Nunley from Squatchy, you got a carbon copy up here. <laughs> It'll be second and five. Grundy uh, County's ball scores twenty-seven nothing is here. Grundy the game. taking a knee right now. Yeah, they are in a timeout. They're that tired already. I sure Maybe hope not. Maybe that's why they keep losing. Austin playing what? Huh? Austin loves duct tape. <laughs> duct tape my phone down to the table. Tribe is going wild over there. Yeah. They're bringing their, they have their fly swatters over there to swat down the yellow jackets. Uh, I took my shoe off to swat down the ones that was in the press box <laughs> yeah. when we got here. Yeah, well, there was actually yellow jackets in the press box, ironically. Yeah. <laughs> Archer didn't think I'd smack one of them with my hand either. <laughs> I don't care to get stung by a yellow jacket, but if I get stung by one of them big old uh, red wasps, no, them high wasy horns. Oh gosh, them suckers are bad. Uh, them things are bigger than my pinky finger. I'd say something. And Austin, get that tape off my back, son. <laughs> Austin messing with us up here. This is the yeah. first time he's been right beside us. In the press box. Gurney County snaps the ball. Oh, about keeps Kobe it. Kobe Reed getting su – wait, no, that wasn't Kobe Reed. That's uh, Hunter Davenport. Wow. They do get a gain of about three or four yards, though. The fullback kept the quarterback from going to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> that will – it'll be third and two now for the Yellow Jackets. It's on the 44-yard uh, line. Welcome, Archie. All right, and now they're lining back up the shotgun. Man, they got a big old running back. Yeah. Is that that number eight? That's number 80. Oh, he, oh, he didn't take the handoff. Ooh. Ooh. He got lucky on that play. That will be enough for a first down there. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we have 11 minutes left in the second quarter. 28 nothing Indians. Two timeouts left for Grundy and three left for Squatch. And it's fourth and about one. And I think somebody just called a timeout. Oh, oh no, official timeout. Oh, fourth and one. I, see, I thought that was measure, I do believe. I, I thought that was going to be a first down. But Where's I, the ball? How are they going to measure without a ball? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> His foot was blocking it. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for all you guys listening, I know you're not exactly Grundy County fans cause unless you're uh, over here and you found our radio somehow. But I'll be selling Grundy County High School fishing team jersey, well, well not jerseys, T-shirts, crew neck, sweatshirts, uh, hoodies, hats, and I think beanies too. And the f it nope. will be no first down. Fourth. They still have about a yard to go. Wow. So it will be fourth and about half a yard. Let's see if they can get it. And uh, they're lining that number 80 up like he's going to go the up the middle. Oh, whoa. The quarterback is brought the ball, and he lost about five yards. Man, Alex Turner. Alex him Turner. And brings him down. You see how he's been reading all these plays? Yeah. He's been in the backfield every play. Well, I mean, when you when you know an offense by heart for two years and then you yeah. go and play that I offense the next I year. I think about that. I mean, we just know the mesh points because. Yeah, Austin playing you, with duct tape. You're never like the team that you can defend, like the offense you can defend them against best is your own offense because you know yeah. the weak points in your offense. And so, being it's our old offense, we know where the weak points are. That's true. That's true. And now, despite Coach Cockwood's thought, there was there was plenty of them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, Maynard coming in with the play to tell the Indians what they're going to be doing. He's going to say, uh, let's get another touchdown, make it worse. <laughs> we got nine. Whoa, that's trippy. Our uh, 
The time clock is glitching. Yeah. No, bad. Are you not seeing this? Look at it. Whoa. It's hopping. <laughs> it's hopping from 80 minutes to 9 minutes and some odd seconds. And then 10.42 now. And now, Ooh. well, I don't know what's up with the clock, but the, I think the refs are discussing that down there on the field right now. I don't know how much actual time's left. It's saying 10.42, but I'm pretty sure it was below that yeah. earlier. I think I saw him call it 9-something, like 9. 9.42 is what it was on originally. I think that's what he was calling up whenever I like, uh, saw Coach Tate over there with a 9 and then a 4 and a 2. Okay. I'm so, glad you was paying attention to that because I'm still watching the clock glitch back and forth. Because I was trying to figure out what he was doing. Well, it's on 10.42 still. Maybe it was 10.42 instead of 9.42. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out here. Either way, the Squatch County Indians are first and 10 yeah. on the 40-yard line. We had this problem last week, did we not? Yeah. Clock messing up on Yeah, it stopped. Yeah, it stopped on the, <laughs> min- what, four, four minutes? minutes? Yeah. Four minutes, ten seconds. And I don't know how long it stopped before the rest noticed it. but The rest of the second quarter? It, it <laughs> was, we didn't know how much time we had. All we knew was the score. Yeah, and then and they caught on to it, and they are keeping it on the field, but. Yeah, they are keeping it on the field, but they weren't telling us nothing. And then we just hear a but we didn't even hear a buzzer go off. And Brandon Rudd looks like he's got the ball getting about oh he I think fumbled. he fumbled. But I do believe he still has it. Yep. Yeah, he still has it. He still and has it. he gets about what'd you say? Three or four? Three? Yeah, yeah, three yards. Yeah. Looking yeah, good. I thought I thought he fumbled there for a second. I was like, oh I no. think he did, but he he fell right on top, top of, of it. it. Yeah. He was already down anyway. Well, sometimes, even if you're already down, it gets called as a fumble. Well, that's because yeah. it's high school football. Yeah. Uh, Maynard back to pass. And oh! Oh, oh, he, oh, he runs it by himself. He's oh, still going. First down. First down. And mo- oh, oh, he got run. Oh, he jumps right back up. He got up like he had an adrenaline rush. <laughs> I see. I thought he got trucked there for a second, but I think he just, He did get trucked by number seven. I think he just ran into him more. Who is number seven? We got that roster. Number seven is Corbin Lusk. Corbin Lusk. Grundy County. He's a sophomore. Wow, that was a great run. That See, I thought he was about to get sacked because he had three players. He had big number 74 in the backfield with him and another. Went right around him. Yeah, wow. Hands it off to number 24, Austin, Austin Stevens. Stevens. Getting about six on that play. Wow. Nice by Austin Stevens. Ooh, number 37 getting up slow once again for Grundy County. Yeah. He's been getting up slow every, every two or three plays but that he goes down. Well, he might just be slow. He might be uh, a little cold. He might be I don't know. He load. looks like he's hurt. He's, yeah, he does. It looks like he's playing through some pain. Yeah. I've I've experienced that before. Of course, there are two kinds of football players. You have those that play through pain and those who – Act like they're in more pain than they really are. I played six plays with a broke arm. <laughs> Kobe know, Reed jukes even, around everybody, <laughs> goes Kobe right down Reed. the middle, and gets about. I think a first down, maybe. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. No, it's quite no. tough from a single. I think it's going to be about a yard too short. Two, three yards short, according to the referee. Yeah. Yeah, third, third down three. Third down three. My good friend what? David Lowry in the box yep. uh, over here, he's the announcer for Pickett Fifth. Stadium. 15 yards to go for a touchdown. The score is 28 nothing for the Sequatchie County Indians. Wow. I Ooh. think this is our first third down. Yeah. Oh, Maynard out the pass. He's got sticks. McDaniel. Uh, not McDaniel. Yeah. Is it McDaniel? No. Oh. Marshall. Marshall. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel but, Marshall. Uh, that's good play by that was good Daniel play. Marshall I called him sticks y'all don't know that but that's his nickname since freshman year when coach Jones named him that it's kind of sticky you know he's tall and he's lanky. he's a sticky player he's skinny as I'll get out but he is a stout little boy he's yeah. not little he's about six <laughs> yeah he's anything but he's little. like six four but he only weighs about 180 pounds I don't think he weighs over 200 Maynard up the middle again like catching by his ankles there, and wow, the lineman caught him by his ankles. Yeah, good play by Maynard though. Wow, I mean, there's 
yards to a, for a touchdown. If you notice, they've not played number. Okay, I'm getting a text message. Sorry, guys. That'd be about a second and goal with number with two. Yeah, second and goal, and twenty-eight nothing for the Indians. It's about hopefully being our touchdown that will put us at thirty-four nothing. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Maynard passes to Daniel Marshall again, but I think it's incomplete. Um, yeah, incomplete. Uh, is that our first fourth down, or is that just now? No, it's third. Wow. Third and Another two. third down. We'll see what happens. I think Coach Tate just called a timeout. Yep. That'll be his last timeout for the half of them, correct? I'm pretty sure my tea ain't going to spill over. Austin likes playing with duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> We got one of them uh, big industrial rolls of duct tape at Walmart to fix all our stuff with up here in the press box whenever we go to a different one. And uh, Austin just likes playing with it. (laughs) At the uh, halftime, we have a Bloobers, it's a Spear Nation Bloobers uh, that we're going to play for you, provided that I can get Uh, it pulled back up again. uh, Archer, your own Chandler's computer, not yours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, still in timeout. Coach Tate called himself a timeout. Uh, I don't think – I think Grundy's having a few problems. Yeah. Especially with uh, Ma- them knowing Maynard scored on them twice now. Yeah, that's – that kind of puts the hurt. And Brandon me. Rudd. They said they was going to kill Brandon Rudd, and he scored the first touchdown. Sad. Yeah. Sad for them, happy for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, Archer, you don't have to be pulling that up right now. Uh, we still got 10 minutes and 42. Wait, they stopped the clock on that stupid thing. Really? Every second quarter of every game, I swear the clock messes okay, up. Okay, touchdown to Quachie County. Who is that that lost the helmet? Is that? Oh, that's Noah. Yep, I think that was Mayor that just dove right on in there. Wow, that's the first person I've seen lose a helmet in a while. Yeah. And that's a lineman. Score is now 34 nothing, and Soon Abraham, to be 35. Abraham's man. lining up to get the extra point. You know what I'd do just to make Grundy mad right here? What would you do? Run Brandon right up the middle for a two-point conversion. Yeah. But uh, Abraham puts it through there. And uh, Tiger Barnett back there catching the, catching the ball after Abraham kicks it. Yeah. Austin can play on my phone. Uh, I don't know which one that'd be, Archer. Oh, I'll find it. That's the script. That's his files. It wouldn't be in a file, would it? Uh, oh, well. Uh, well, we might have to text our, uh, Chandler and get back up here to play the bloopers during halftime. <laughs> I think he called it funniest moments instead yeah. of bloopers. I like calling it bloopers. Like the funny parts in the movie where they mess up. Yeah. Me and Archer's messed up a few times, so there's probably a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> probably. It's probably <laughs> going to be a, a bunch of us. Oh, yeah. I can't even tell you that. <laughs> there might be a few from the, the uh, what do you call it, barbecue scrimmage and the uh, jamboree. But how bunch, of, how bunch of me calling one team the wrong name? I, I didn't do that a Which lot for some reason. Which game was that? Was that Whitwell? A bunch of them. <laughs> no, the one game you would call them the wrong team every time. Yeah. Oh, did you see that catch? Yeah. Ball's kicked off, and number five, uh, Ooh. Dakota Jones picks it up. And he gets hammered after that. Wow, yeah. The ball will be down at, at the 30-yard line. Hey, do you see this? Look at the roster. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Why is there two of him? Oh. He's a freshman? Wow. He oh, my freshman. goodness. He's 5'7", 140 pounds, and he's the quarterback. Whew. That's a small quarterback. I mean, yeah. we've we've had Kobe Reed at quarterback, but he don't weigh no 140. Kobe Reed weighs, what, around 160? I don't know exactly what he weighs. There's a flag on the – I think that's the, delay the, a game. I would guess so. Yep, delay a game. Oh, legal, legal substitution. substitution. 
light substitution really is what it was. Yep. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They got eleven on the field, but one was running off. Yep. Whenever they had set down, you can't set until that last player's off the field. I don't even think you can get out of the huddle until that last player's off the field. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. I think it's you can't set. Yeah, you can't set. You can get out of the huddle, but. Well, it'll be first and 15 Ooh. on the 28-yard line. Ooh. Tanner <laughs> Reel. Tanner oh. Reel through the line, drills the I, running back. I was back. watching Tanner Reel, and he just goes right through there, just bam, hits him. Drills the running back along with Caleb Reed. Caleb Reed's still in? Or did they sub him in? I mean, I Colby? Think he started. No, Caleb. Oh, Caleb He's Bob. in there over there on the other side of Kyle. I did see him. I get, and yeah, he was in on that tackle with uh, – Yeah, he would have started, I mean, because – Yeah? He's been starting ever since uh, – Who was the linebacker last week for Kyle? No, Caleb was playing middle for Kyle. Yeah. That's what it was, and then they've moved him back to outside linebacker. Yeah. Because Caleb's a freshman, ain't he? He's a sophomore. Sophomore. Why do I always think he's – Oh! Oh! He what? didn't even have the ball. <laughs> Hunter comes up and oh my drills goodness. somebody. He what? drills the running back, which it didn't even have the ball. The quarterback still had the ball. But, my goodness. Which, in option defense, is actually kind of a good strategy because – You hit them both. You hit them both. I mean, you, hit, you kind of have to hit that mesh point. One person takes the quarterback. One I mean, person it takes wasn't a hold either. I mean, he's plumb ran him over yeah. from the front side. So, now that player that he ran over is uh, coming out of the game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he got off the field by himself, but he don't look too happy. I wouldn't be happy either if no. they did me like that. Why don't they play big number 78? He can block the whole line. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I have word that he weighs about 450-something. Oh, oh, did you see that one? Man. The wide receiver and the running back both jumped. Yep. The, the running back went straight up the middle, almost ran into the, his own lineman and was like, wait a minute. We're going on two. Yeah. <laughs> Running County trying to be slick and go on two, and it's going to cost them 10 it, yards. It screwed them up worse than it did Squatchy. It's now third and 22. Wow. <laughs> third and 22. Yeah. On the uh, 24 yard line with scores now, what, 35 0 Squatchy County Indians. Yep. Woo. Wow. Still in the first I half. I have no clue how much time we have left. It stopped on 10.42. Oh, oh, my goodness. Caleb Reed. No, that's Austin, Austin Stevens. Stevens. Ow. Destroyed the quarterback. Ethan Ethan Numley is going to be hurting. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Where did Austin come from? He was playing corner. I mean, wow. That's a blitzing corner out there. Yeah. My goodness. Wow. I mean, that's an – that's, just That's impressive. one of the most impressive sacks I've ever seen in a high school football game. Well, that'll go on. I'll see that'll be on the film. highlight film. <laughs> Even though he's only a junior. Junior. We'll save it for highlight films next year. Yeah. Austin, uh, quit taping my phone to the table. And he lets that ball go. It'll be stopped at about the 49 of the Grundy count. Wait, no. Squat. Ah, yeah, Squatch count. Uh, well, okay. they're about to the, start it off. Yeah, they just here. they called for the referees to give us an idea of how much time is left on the clock. I want to see if they actually I don't start, give the number to us. I don't believe they will, unless David announces it over the PA. They just did, he just did. What did he say? He said, "I'd like can the refs give us an idea of how much time is left in the game and or in the half?" And they just kind of they just kind of waved their self off of it. Yeah. I don't know. We have no, <laughs> yeah, they don't know. They're just going to play it until they think it's over with. I don't know. They probably have it on time. They'll let Squatchy score again. <laughs> wow, Brandon ran up oh, the middle. Brandon ran. And he's brought back. Wow. Almost every I, Grundy County player there on him. I'll, I can't. Hold on a sec. I'm going to get this piece of tape off my shirt. You know, I, I think that roll of duct tape was kind of expensive. So I, I, I do believe Bob will uh, we'll make Austin Bernal pray for that one. Pray for that one. 
<laughs> yeah, pray. pay for that one. We ain't praying for duct tape <laughs> unless it gets any better. <laughs> <laughs> it already works pretty good. <laughs> I'm having to cut my mic now. That that way I can hear myself in my headphones. Hey, I can turn you up, Robert. Just a little bit, Archie. Just a little bit. <laughs> Not like earlier. Austin, I'm gonna kill you. We're putting duct tape on me, bud. You're ruining my Under Armour shirt. Put it on my face. Squatch County lining back up ah, is second no. and nine. Maynard in the back. <laughs> oh, right up the middle. He's going to go. Maybe not all the way. Oh, he might go all the way. Oh, oh, oh. he stepped. I Step. saw him step out. Wow. Man, right there. Almost. The he wasn't 25. watching his feet, though. Right there at the 25-yard line. No, 24. 24-yard line. That's where the wow. red foot is. That was impressive. That was it. He was juking the player out and would have kept going, but he took a one step too far out. Yep. Only about an inch or two out, though. Still a great play. It puts him first and 10 at the 24 yard line. Yeah. 35 nothing for the Squatch County Indians. And we do not know how much time is left on the clock because the clock is messed up again this week, also. Hands it off to number 24, Austin Stevens. That was kind of a confusing play there, Robert, because number 12 and Austin Stevens were both running head and head. Yeah. Uh, Archer, what are you doing with my phone? Oh, Chandler. Uh, trying to get you the score on the Cab Ufferman, which we'd really like to know at the moment. But right now, I guess we'll go down to Maynard down here. It's first and 15. Don't know how that happened. Uh, oh, Maynard going to run it himself. He'd oh, he fumbles, and Grundy's got the ball. No, no, no. Wait, they're not. fighting over it. I don't know who has it. I think we have it. I think we still have it because the, the guy that got it on Grundy, uh, His knee hit it he dropped it. Out. 58 for Sequatchie picks up the ball. That's uh, Gabe Jackson. Yeah. Wow, what a save. Good job, Gabe. It, we fumble it, and the, the guy from Grundy County goes to pick it up, hits it with his knee right as he yeah. dives in there for it and just knocks it right back out again. Good job, Gabe. You saved the play right there, buddy. Oh, gosh. I, that, that fumble that Manor just did just gave Sequatchie more yards. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was about first and 18. Now it's about second and 12. Maynard, if Maynard hadn't have fumbled it, it'd still be about second and 13 or so. Brandon Rudd got oh, Brandon Rudd's run. almost got a touchdown. Oh, he, he does have a touchdown. touchdown. Woo, touchdown to Quachie County. And now it'll be, what's well, 35 plus 6? <laughs> I'm just kidding. 41 to nothing. With, I think they fixed the clock, and it says four minutes. Wow. We still have no time to get on the touchdown, Robert. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Goodness gracious. Wow. That's wonderful. Take a moment to think about this. It's 42 nothing in the first well, half. Well, hold on. It ain't 42 yet. Well, it's Abraham's going to have to fix that for us. It's fixing to be 42 nothing. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Grundy looks like they're ready to block it. But they don't. Abraham gets it. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, he got it. He got it. I couldn't tell on that one. Nothing. 42 40 nothing in the first half. Woo. That was the entire game last week. Wow. And, you know, we, we are saying that we beat Whitwell 42 to 14. Yeah. And, and well, Whitwell beat Grundy 42 to 14. 43-0. 43-0. 43-7. 43-7. That was the score. DeKalb on bottom at Upperman. Yep. DeKalb 6. Upperman In the second quarter, Fourteen. DeKalb losing. DeKalb, we need you to come out on top, guys. <laughs> yes. Or maybe the vice versa. I'm not. Anyway, Squatch County lines up again for their kickoff. Looks like number 14, 
Ethan Barker is going to be our kicker again. Okay, I got that situated with uh, Andrew over here. The uh, we want Upperman to win, which is good right now because they are winning. So we have to beat them next week, though, if they do win. And it'll be a three-way tie for first in the district. Yep. Squatchy County kicks the ball off and is down Ooh. at the – You see number seven limping? 36-yard line. Wow, he's yeah. hopping. And 80 was uh, 80 hurt earlier yeah. also. Mm. He, I think he went back in, though. Yeah, I mean, he didn't come off the field, but he was hurting. Yeah, he was. But uh, back to what I was saying about the district, we have to beat Upperman next week. If Upperman wins this week, it'll be a three-way tie between districts. And then Sequatchie, right at the moment, has the most po- – I'm gonna, Austin, I'm going to kill you. I'm not going to be able to drink my tea. He put duct tape on the lid of my tea. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will. On to Grundy. They're lined up in the – kind of a pistol-like formation, but shotgun. Uh, a pass, and passes it to number seven, oh. Corbett Musk, <laughs> and he's brought down with a hard hit. I don't know who that was, but that was a hard hit. Looks Joseph like Coulson? Joseph Coulson, yes, it was. Well, that's understandable. <laughs> Joseph Coulson is not exactly small. Oh, for all you disbelievers in how good the service is in Grundy County, I have Verizon. I have four bars right now. Yes, it's pretty good out here, actually. They, they built us a new tower. <laughs> I thought it was going to be horrible. So if you are a connoisseur of fine self-service, welcome to Coleman, Tennessee. Coleman. Coleman. Coleman, Tennessee. I call it Coleman. Coleman. Coleman, though. It's on the announciation. I live technically in Palmer, Tennessee, so that's my address anyway. And they're back in that same formation. They're going to run it up the middle with number 80. He gets about oh, wow. two, maybe three. Brought down by a host of Indians. The whole team, except Kobe <laughs> Reed and Ethan Barker. I think uh, I think Caleb – yeah, I think Caleb yeah, Ray Caleb was, the, was the leadoff tackler yeah, on that one. he was at the bottom. Yeah, he was on the bottom of that pile. That That's when you get worried, when you're when one of your best players is on the bottom of the pile. You know, I, I've been on the bottom of the pile a few times. It's actually not as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. Uh, when Usually. you're on the very bottom, when you're the one with the ball and you got hit, it hurts. Now, now, if, you, if you're if you carrying a ball, it's different. But if you're the, the main tackler. I, I caught an interception one time as a linebacker. It didn't go well. <laughs> oh, that's a weird lateral. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you see that wow. read by uh, oh, <laughs> Alex Turner? Wow. He was about to get blocked. He backed off. and It was like he was running the ball kind of, and he backstepped or just yeah. stopped where the player would miss, and then he makes the tackle, Ooh. and it'll be a loss of about one. So it'll be fourth and nine. California. Yeah, <laughs> fourth and nine. They're going <laughs> to punt the ball off again, and their punt game has been awful. Tonight. Horrible. So. He, especially when he dropped that one. Yeah. He, he's dropped one. And he got de- demolished. Yeah. He, he kicked, kicked one straight, straight up in the air pretty much. And uh, Kyle Cates, oh, it's the end of the first half. I couldn't tell you that because uh, the clock's still not working, sketchy. But, but it is forty-two nothing, and we're in halftime. Chandler, where are you? I need you to get up here. Oh well, we uh, will. Uh, we'll try to get you the bloopers. If not, if not today, then we can give them to you next week. It's the Upperman game. Yep. And if Upperman the cab, Upperman's winning fourteen six at the half. Wow. They just went to halftime as well. So, I mean, a uh, review of this entire quarter here. Squatch County comes out at the very beginning of the game with only 50 seconds off the clock and scores the first touchdown and then follows up with another touchdown shortly after that. Yeah. And uh, Maynard scoring two touchdowns straight up the middle. Yeah. I mean, it has been a great night. I mean, but the score is a testimony to that. 42 to 0 in the first, first half. half. If we kept our pace up, we could go. 80, this could be 70, like, 80 yeah. to nothing. I mean. Who's that team that beat Canning so bad? I, oh, I remember who it was. It was Upperman. They beat Canning County 72 oh, yeah. to 
14. Uh, Chandler's going to talk to you for a second. I'm going to get off, so Archer and Chandler will be on here. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. We're kind of a tight space up here in the press box, so it's a kind of a bit of a challenge maneuvering around. Well, welcome, Chandler. How are you doing tonight? I am doing fantastic uh, with that score up there. I always try to remain biased, but, you know, when you see a score that lopsided, you know, you either got, you either for that team or you're against that team. And I'm for the team tonight, yeah. uh, just being from Sequatchie County. And uh, at my River City Sports self, um, I am being biased, John, uh, just in case you're listening. Uh, <laughs> that's my boss at River City Sports. But, um, yeah, uh, let's talk about this game. What Who has stood out to you uh, performance-wise? Alex Turner. Number one, staying up with a pick and a forced a force fumble that he recovered right off the bat in the game. I mean, that mm-hmm. that's great. Uh, obviously, Kyle and Hunter both had several tackles. Caleb Breed's done really well tonight. Yeah, that's right. Tanner, yeah. Austin Stevens with that sack. And Tanner Rills had a few good ones, too. Uh, he has had a few good plays on the offensive line. You know, I, I just sit there and notice, you know, there's one thing that stands out in this game, and that's the speed factor. And never in my life have I seen as much speed as I've seen in Sequatchie County as I have now today. But the the bigger story here is that Grundy County, they're just they're, they don't have the speed they're used to having. They're they're below their 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 par, which has been above average. You know, not stellar, but above average, and they're down below average in their speed. Yeah. Well, and the big issue for them is they are running our old offense. That you know that we had drilled into us for two years by Coach Cockwit, and when you have an offense drilled into you, and then you go and play that offense, you know it. Yeah, and that's why Alex Turner and some of these other kids can play it so well because they know what's happening. They line up, they start to run. And they're like, oh, that's that play, that's that play. They're going here, 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 and they go and hit the hole and get the tackle. Yeah, and I think that that has a lot to do with it in that you know Sequatchie County and Grundy County basically swapped offenses. Uh, when you looked at it that way, and it played right into Houston Maynard's favor. And I want to talk about this, too. You know, we, we, we see that Houston Maynard, he is from Grundy County, through that game-winning pass uh, for the two-point conversion last year that Grundy County, that let Grundy County win out at Coleman here. Um, <laughs> and it's just amazing to see full circle that, um, you know, Houston Maynard going the complete other way here, playing for Sequatchie County first and foremost, but also – you know, instead of being a close game, he's getting to play a dominant game. And I, I bet you that's a little bit of motivation for him. Yeah, I, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, Maynard, if you're listening, if you're listening later, let me tell you something. You're doing a heck of a job out there. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that's nothing to, to frown upon. I mean, you're leading this offense first and foremost. You know, everything goes through a quarterback. And to see a 42 nothing score there, that's something that you're doing, uh, and that's something that your team's doing, but you're at the head of that. And, uh, of course, you got to give props to Coach Kane for preparing these kids and be, letting them be ready for Friday. Now, on an uh, unbiased note, I will say that, you know, Grundy County has had a few good plays. They had uh, whenever – or a few good recoveries from uh, plays, like uh, when they had that one punt that he dropped, he ran that ball and broke, you know, seven tackles almost and, you know, got another ten yards. Yeah, that, that's that's a pretty good recovery. Yeah, that that is a really really good recovery, and to see, I, I was so disappointed that they uh, called the uh, punt return by um, Kyle Cates back. That, that yeah, that was. You know, when I was sitting down there talking to my photographer Eileen Carter, she does an excellent job with everything she does. On uh, it, it's it's she has that golden touch. You know, she if she presses that uh that picture button, she if she takes that picture. It's, it's golden. golden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so I was sitting there talking to her, and I was like, you know what? That's, that's funny because that she took a great picture of Kyle going in the end zone because she was right there when it happened. And I said, you know what? That'll be the star image, but that was uh, that was taken back by a penalty, and that's that's a shame. But no one else will know it, you know, yeah. um, uh, uh, when they look at it on the site, look at it on that kind of thing. Uh, but that's really, really interesting that that happened that way. Yeah. Um, did you see the uh, block in the back on that one? Because me and Robert were up here, and we did not see a single block in the back. I was sitting down there right there, and I saw what I thought might be, but it was very, very a very, very touchy call. Okay. And I'm very surprised because Grundy County, I'm not trying to be biased toward ref. I don't like to talk about refs. But Grundy County has been one of these teams that, you know, the refs are almost always against Sequatchie County, it seems like. But Grundy County seems like one of the places where they go against Grundy County. That's the only other people they go against besides Sequatchie County. That seems how it goes sometimes. Yeah. 
Uh, but I've seen a, although our fans may not agree, I saw a very, very, fairly done game. You know, they were touchy. They had touchy calls, but they had touchy calls on both sides. From what yeah. I saw, you know, and so it's not like they're, they're. You know, I, I think that's what you got to look at it as. And I always commend a ref because they have a hard job. They do. I mean, they, they have really an extremely, have a hard job. extremely hard job. And and I, I just. I just commend them for even just walking out there on the field, you know, knowing they get shot, they walk off the field and make I, a wrong call. I, I've not, I've not seen any calls on either side that I felt were just silly. You know that they've all been, yeah. Like I'm, I might not agree with them, but they've not been just like outlandish. They've not been like, um, you know, he touched me, he looked at me the wrong way. Let's give him a hug call. It's not been like that all night. Yeah. And so I think that's something that is very, uh, <laughs> very good about this. Um, and I, I, I think. This game is is going very very well for the Indians. Of course, you have to look at it that way. But I, I'm not going to say that Grundy County is doing bad in this game. I'm just going to say that Grundy County they they just aren't it, the it, it's, it's happening at the wrong time. Basically, yeah. They're you know we we knew that you know having Maynard on this team and you know I, I could see everybody on the Grundy County you know uh, I could see everybody on the Grundy County stands kind of cringing when they heard Maynard's name just because they're so used to hearing it for themselves you know yeah. and then kind of going away from that. Um, but it, it, it is – having Maynard there, that's just the X factor. And having May, you know, and they expect – and Squatch County has kind of been one of these teams where you look back and you're like, well, they try to do the same thing. They do it uh, spread out, but they did the same thing. But, you know, it worked – when you when you get down to the science, it works, and especially against Granny Kane. Now, I, th- I think they did change it up, yeah, a little bit. What, what do you think about that? Do you think they need to change it up a little bit coming into the Upperman game? I think going into the Upperman game, it would be a good idea if they can – if they can switch it up without messing up, you know, the the players, mm-hmm. I think that would be a good thing. That last game, kind of giving everything a little twist in the right way. Giving a twist in the right way is a good idea. Cause yeah, it, I'm not saying you have to go complete like, oh, we're going to go uh, pro style I, oh, oh, I no. formation. I, I mean, you got to – every coach knows you got to mix it up a little bit. So, uh, that's kind of what we're doing. Now we're going to do a rundown of the scores here at halftime. Uh, halftime score also, South Pittsburgh at Boyd Buchanan. Boyd Buchanan 21-6 over the Pirates of South Pittsburgh, and that is being played at Boyd Buchanan. Boyd Buchanan 8-0, South Pittsburgh 6-2. and um, Boyd Buchanan beat Marion County by a touchdown earlier in the season. Uh, Marion County also beat South Pittsburgh 62-21 in that matchup. And so for the score to be that close is very, very surprising, although that is a very, very rivalry-intense game. Bledsoe County fighting for their playoff lives as they go against Brainerd this week. Brainerd started off 0-5. They're now 3-5. They won their last three games. And if they beat Bledsoe tonight, they could put themselves in a position to be in the playoffs in that region 3-2-A. So Bledsoe fighting for their playoff lives. They have to win this game. They most definitely have to win next week's game, and they're in the playoffs. They may have to travel, but they're in the playoffs. That's all that matters to Warriors fans. And as a Squatch County fan, I had, I had to be for Bledsoe County. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they're not playing us, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to see both of us get a state championship eventually. I mean, that'd be nice. Um, <laughs> I'd love to go play them in state championship. Yeah, I, oh, my gosh. <laughs> that, that, would be, that would be a game. Of course, that would never happen because of how the playoff season works. But that would be an awesome game. Could you uh, imagine? Yeah. <laughs> East Ridge, 21 nothing over Loudoun. They are they will, they're looking to be 9-0 and tonight, and they got another game, and they should turn out to be able to run the table. Uh, and that, will, that, that could uh, supplement their first round. Whoever ends up fourth in our district, in our region, which looks right now to be Smith County, will have to play East Ridge because they, they are the top seed in that region three. Um, so that's very, very important for a not. And that, that game, by the way, we had no implications on that. Uh, we've also got Chattanooga Christian 55-10 over Grace Baptist. That's a halftime score, folks. That's a halftime. Of course, I'm, both, I'm also surprised at the score, at the score here, 42 42- Oh, Sequatchie County over Grundy County. If you're just tuning in, we're at the halftime show. This is Chandler Morrison. I'm Archie Thompson here. And uh, Robert stepped out for a minute. We had to give him a break. Um, Robert takes a lot of breaks. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a l- less than you, though. Less than me. Less than me. I'm not I'm, I'm not here during the whole game, so I guess I can't say anything. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, in case you're just joining us, Chattanooga Christian 55-10, halftime over Grace Baptist. Not a lot of surprise there. A 3A program against a 1A program. And a 3A program that uh, Chattanooga Christian could be somebody that Sequatchie County is matched up in, uh, matched up with, if DeKalb County wins tonight and they ha- beat Upperman, they could be, and they whether they beat Upperman or not, they could be matched with Chattanooga Christian 
because Chattanooga Christian is in that three spot behind Notre Dame, behind East Ridge. So, how much time we got? Oh, we got about another ten minutes. We're good. Um, let's go down and look over at some of these other games. We don't have a score on Mace County, Polk County. You didn't want to know that one anyway. Um, Region 4. Let's look and see what we got with Smith County, 13, York Institute, 0. That's in the second quarter. No surprise there. Smith County fighting, fighting, fighting for that fourth spot. Possibly Grundy Kane, even if they lose tonight, could play Smith County and beat Smith County and end up in that fourth spot. That's that's very – that could happen, and I'm not saying – and we if we beat Grundy County and they come out strong against Smith County, I wouldn't mind seeing Grundy County in the playoffs. That would be fun. That yeah. would be fun. Upperman over to Cav, 14 6 at the half. 14 6, Upperman over to Cav. If Upperman wins that game, all we have to do is beat Upperman to get that first spot in the region. You know, and even if even if they lose tonight, if we beat Upperman, we're at the second spot in the region. So we have to beat Upperman to get a playoff game. If not, we go and travel to uh, Chattanooga area teams. That's going to be fine. We'll try to travel to Chattanooga, which will most likely be uh, Chattanooga Christian or Red Bank. So not too far away from here. We're used to Chattanooga Christian. Um, It'll be Red Bank if that happens, uh, from I heard from Robert. I'm looking at that right now. Um, I'm going down the list. I see Giles County 10-0 over Signal Mountain. Halftime score there. Of course, your, your score here, in case you're just joining us, is 42-0 Sequatchie County over Grundy County at the half. Am I right, Robert? I'm Arch Thompson, by the way, not Robert. Uh, but, uh, Archer, yes, sorry. You are, yes, you are Sorry, correct. Robert, you messed me up over there. That was the whole game last week against Kansas. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll go back to Region 3 action. Alcoa, 48-0 over Red Bank, and that's a halftime score as well. Wow. And Alcoa, let me, let me explain something to you. Red Bank has got the gauntlet this year. They played McCauley. They played Baylor. They played Maryville, and they played Alcoa. They're out of, wow. they're out of region. Conference has been very, very strong, um, and they went 0-4 outside of conference, I believe, and you can't really blame them for that. Alcoa but, but you know what? Red Bank. That, that's a long travel for either team, you know. Yeah. And it is at Red Bank. That's the way I'm seeing it right here. It is at Red Bank. Alcoa, they don't have any problem traveling. They travel all over the state and beat everybody. Yeah. I mean, that's just how it goes. Uh, but that would be that that game right there could could determine, you know, you look at that score and say Sequatchie County does play Red Bank, you can see where they stand in the state with that kind of score. If they score that kind of state, they might be able to compete with an Alcoa down the road. We don't know. Um, yeah, but I, I, I'm just not sure yet. We just have to look at that. Um and uh, no scoring update that I can see right here, right now, at the moment, besides Hickson 14 7 over Livingston Academy. Hickson started out 0 6. They're 2 6 now, and they have a possibility of getting in the playoffs. Very, very good possibility. Up the valley, we've got Cumberland County falling to Stone Memorial 28 0 at the half, in case you're wondering. And our neighbors to the south, Whitwell, are trailing Columbia Academy 28 to nothing at the half, and Columbia County. Academy, excuse me, is in the region that they would play in the playoffs. So they're region three. Columbia Academy is in region four. So they would play each other uh, going in there. They might play them in the second round, third, and or the quarterfinals, depending on how it falls. Um, but it's not looking good for Whitwell in the playoffs if that's the score. But it is looking good for South Pitt since they did beat Whitwell by a better score than that at, at the time. Okay. So um, we, we could be seeing a very, very good competitive. Columbia Academy 7-1, very, very good team, uh, has a good shot at the playoffs. So that's all we've got for right now. As I can see, we'll check our other sources real quick. Fine. And uh, uh, but with those are scores for right now, halftime score right now, 42 nothing. Sequatchie County over Grundy County. This is the Spear Sports Network. And we have during the halftime we have the funny the Spears funniest moments brought to you by Spear Nation TV. This is the audio. See if you like it. Am I right, Archer? Is it funny? Have you seen the video? I've actually not seen the video yet. You've not seen the video. Well, you're going to see the video because you're going to listen to this track and you're like, man, I have to go see that video. (laughs) So if you listen to this track and you want to hear the video, it's on YouTube. It's called Our Funniest Moments. The Spear Sport, the Spear Nation TV on YouTube. Just look us up. And uh, here you go, presentation by Spear Nation TV. Hey, he ate this one chili and it set his mouth on fire and he had to drink a two liter of Mountain Dew. Oh, man.
I mean, I've seen kids shave their heads to make weight, you know, go in the bathroom and do mysterious things to lose a pound. <laughs> that I don't want to say on camera. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Keener. Thank you. Very explicit. Coach Mosley. Coach Mosley, boys soccer coach. Uh, first question, do you believe in Bigfoot? Well, I do believe people have big feet. Whether there's necessarily one big foot out there, I, I don't think so. They have to have two. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Yep. He have seen him. He was on our baseball field last week. Yeah, that, that is true. He was out there on the, he was he's throwing, throwing about 105. Yeah. Left handed. Y'all remember? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he's right there. He's right there. That's it. What's the funniest moment you've had as a coach? Uh it had to be a few years back when I had a kid named Kyle Huth playing for me. We were in a district tournament and uh, Kyle I think he had 32 this game. We were playing Tyner, and uh, Jeff Smith, who was playing at Tyner, was on the free throw line with him. He said, I've signed with uh, Tyner, who you signed with. And uh, Hoof looks over and said, the Marines. So, you know, that was, uh, <laughs> he told me that, and that was, that was a funny moment. <laughs> what do you think about Coach Cockwood? He's a great guy. Oh, man. <laughs> what? Riley Dempsey sitting down, interview like this. Uh, hi, I'm Riley Dempsey. Um, you know, I'm Everybody get in here! In here! Especially the Tribe, it keeps us pumped up. And it's, it's pretty, it makes us nervous, but we got to play through adversity. Yeah, I have a lot of adrenaline. During game time. <laughs> um, I would say the uh, Stone Memorial game. Um, when uh, Timmy stuck a, t a tampon up his nose after he got hit in the face with the ball. Um, I'm glad he's in the bathroom. Uh, we've had a, we've had a uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> wow, <laughs> Virgil. He's a good coach, really good coach, but he's goofy. He's different, all right. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude. That's, a PG. Dude. That's a good bond right there. Dude. 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 What's up with the hair? Up with the hair. Yeah, what's up with the hair? Yeah, I'm coming to football practice. I ain't gonna be pretty. My sophomore year, me and Ashlyn Young were dancing, ballet dancing, and Coach Corby walked around the corner and, and it was, it was hilarious. It was but hard. there was like always funny moments to Coach Davis, yeah. like when he crosses a Crown Creek median to go across four lanes of traffic to go driving down the wrong side. <laughs> when, he, <laughs> when he cuts off them <laughs> Afro people and me and Bailey were staring at him. And they, and they basically off. threatened us with our lives. Or so. when he gets lost and we get two hours behind delay. Schedule. Or when I have to drive the bus to Watt County because he doesn't know where he's going. So, I mean, it's always fun. Yeah. When he's... When he can't see. When he can't see. When he can't jump. So we just run right by. But don't get me wrong. I love Coach Davis. Uh. Uh. Well, bass fell twice today, so that was pretty funny. And that's. Coach Montgomery, uh, Grundy County, where the men are men and the women are too. Okay. Uh, funniest moment you've had as a coach? Well, you know, I can't really. <laughs> I don't remember. A lot of funny, funny moments. Uh, I remember playing over here one year, and uh, uh, I got upset or something, and, I, and my chair moved on me, and I sat down and missed the chair. But I don't know whether that's funny or not. It was to my kids, but it wasn't to me. It'd have to be Coach Montgomery. Wasn't the Zeus's buttholes going on here? Dance party? Dance party. Dance party. Dance party was pretty funny. Somebody left a Cosby kid in a pool in the locker room. That's pretty funny. What's the funniest moment you've had as a player? 
Funniest moment is, well, last year I was playing uh, Blood Soul, and uh, I happened to be forward, and silly me, I kicked the ball straight instead of a little bit to the left and missed the goal when I was five feet in front of it. Jordan, how much do you hate being on, on this camera right now? Um, Scale of one to ten. Hey, that's a dirty sock you just threw on. <laughs> eight. An eight. <laughs> You're a dirty sock, though. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. That's all right, coach, it's your turn. Are you going to put this one on something? I like this one. This one's funny. Yeah. you got to edit it up, though.
And we're back here with the Spirit Sports Network on TSSN Radio. This is the first time Grundy's going to get a kickoff. Yep, and possibly the last time. Hopefully. Squatching these all the points they can get. Again, if you're first just joining, the score is 42-0. to zero. Just heading into the second half. Yeah. Uh, it's been a great I, game so far. I hope they got the clock fixed. It says 12 minutes. We'll see how that goes. You've had some technical difficulties, or they've had some technical They have. We didn't. Yeah. Our crap's working pretty good today. I know. It's been great. We've not really this had much. This has been the best day ever for our equipment. It's because we're using Chandler's computer. Last week, it was so cold, it was messing up. <laughs> yeah, we'll blame it on the cold. Yeah, we'll blame it. It was <laughs> cold out there last week. Oh, good kick. And who is that that will take it? Troy Sanders returning the ball. Oh, he does pretty good, too. He gets about. Gets back up to the 35-yard line. Yeah, from the 20, so that's about a 15-yard return. Austin up here speaking Spanish. <laughs> if you can hear him. <laughs> I don't know if we could or not. I couldn't hear him. Okay, there we go. Are uh, our, our mics working pretty good? Yeah, they're okay. There we go. Okay. Trying to get Just everything. Check. Yep, we're all okay. All right. <laughs> Trying to move that thing off Where's there. Where's my phone go? It's in my pocket. Sorry, guys. I gotta make sure my Nana knows the score. She'll get mad at me. And she just texted me and asked me for the score. <laughs> Squatch County lines up, snaps the ball, and, and hands it off to you, number 24, Austin Stevens. Austin Stevens? He just got face mashed severely. Yeah. I don't know where the flag's at for that one. That was that was okay. Wait a minute. That was his shoulder. They about pulled his shoulder out of his uh, <laughs> pads there. <laughs> wow. He just kept on trucking though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. That was a good play. A gain of about what would you say? I mean, probably that's probably a good gain of almost seventeen yards there. It'll yeah. be first and Wonderful ten on the. Uh, 48-yard line on the other 48-yard line. Yep. So, Ethan Parker going up the middle. Oh, wow. he's still going. First down plus some more. Is he going to go down? There he goes. First wow. down and about five more. Yeah, I mean, that was a great play by Ethan Barker there. The ball is down on the 34-yard line. It'll be... First and ten, the score is 42-0, Squatch County Indians. I wouldn't want to get in front of that. Did you see him running down through there? No. <laughs> Number big 74 down there was just sprinting off the sidelines. Oh, wow. I'm not getting in front of that. Smell coffee. I bet. Uh, they're probably making some down there. It's hot. It's, it's kind of chilly down here. Everybody in Grundy's wearing a jacket. Everybody over on Squatch is wearing T-shirts. <laughs> Squatchy gets ready to snap the ball. I think they're trying to fake him out. And Troy going. Hands off to number wow. 24, Austin Stevens again. Who gets a gain of about oh, seven I, yards. I just noticed that everybody in the backfield is a backup right now. Yeah. Ethan Barker's in at quarterback. Uh, Austin Stevens running the back. Uh, Troy Sanders in at wing for Kobe Reed. I saw Dynamite in there. For you saw field. Dynamite in Oh, he just came out. Yep. Yeah, I see him. I'm sure that, no, I was going to say that. Jonah Adams will go in, but I forgot he uh, blew his knee out. Yep, he is not oh, going to. There's Jerry Keener coming in, wide receiver. Is second and four. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, the Indians. Ethan Barker throw a pass. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. He isn't bad on passing well, there. Well, it's second and about four, so I think they'll run it. Send Austin up the middle once again. And they do. And no, he oh, he's the still. Ball. Oh. Ethan wow. Cap- Whoa, did you see that? He jumped right over the tackle. Well, I mean, he got his feet got caught, but he pretty much jumped over yeah, the entire player. Tackle, he just hops right over him. That'll be enough for a first down. The ball will be placed at the 20-yard line in this first and 10. Wow, did you see the shooting star back there, Robert? Uh, Archer, are you sure that wasn't a fireworks that these kids over here in Grundy play it, with all that, the time? That was a shooting star for sure. It's They have the showers right now. What, really? Yeah. That was a nice one, too. Wow. I didn't know that. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Oh, I was w- watching the field. 
And How big is Corey? And a camera flash in my face. <laughs> Squatchy lines back up again. Uh, let's see. Ethan Barker still in the backfield, quarterback. And hands it off to Alex Turner getting his first run in at offense. Wow. Finally gets some offensive yards instead of defensive yards. Looks like he gets maybe six to seven yards depending on where they spot the, that at. Yeah, I don't know where they spotted that. About six. About six, yep. So it would be second and four. Maybe uh, five. Yeah, second and uh, four on the about 15-yard line. Yeah. Scores 42 to zero for the Squatchy County Indians. Grundy's going to have to watch swapping in players. They're yeah. swapping in players right before – or Grundy's going to have to watch that, not Squatchy. Yeah. So Squatchy is uh, getting lined up, and they're still swapping in players over on Grundy's side. Well, they uh, got called for it in the first half. Oh, yeah, they did, but that was when they were playing offense. Yep. Playing defense at the moment. And Snaps uh, the ball. Who has the ball? Ethan Barker kept it, and he's going to go in the end zone. Wow, touchdown, Sequatchie County. He was hardly touched. Hardly, I mean, yeah. Hard, yeah. Well, and that's another touchdown, so that'll bring us to 48. 48 nothing. Wow. In the third quarter with 637 left. Let's see if we can get to be 49 0. You know, a lot of times you don't see 49 0 because they've missed one field goal somewhere, or they've gone for a two point conversion, they've missed it. Yeah. They've, they've missed their extra – it's a lot of times you see 48-0, not 49-0. And you're about to see 49-0. I sure hope so. I hope. And it will be. Ooh, that went in there. Oh, yeah. So, 49 to nothing with 6.37 left in the, in third, the quarter. third quarter. Wow. We still got a whole other quarter and a half to play. Yeah. I mean, we're going to – we can have the potential to run right over Grundy County. I mean, just – Completely yeah. run right over him. Austin Stevens having most of the yards on that uh, last that last drive series, there. yeah, that last drive. And well, of course, Ethan Barker getting one long run in, and he got that last touchdown, touchdown. which was about eleven yard touchdown. Yeah, that was great. Good play by Ethan Barker. It's getting chilly up here. We actually have the fan. I don't know why Archer brought the, or Chandler brought the fan. It was a little warm in here when we first got here. It was, but there was a lot of yellow jackets in here too. Yeah, I don't mean the football players. <laughs> the real deal. Oh, yeah, the real deal. I think they set them loose in here because they knew we were going to be in here. Yeah, probably so. They knew Squatchy was coming. They wanted to scare <laughs> us right off the bat. I was killing them with Archer's hat. Yep. <laughs> it's not the first yellow jacket that's been killed with this hat. That's true, that's true. And then I took my shoe off when we first got here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> who, who do we have kicking here? Is this Peyton who Tate? That, that's Peyton, Peyton Tate. Tate on the kickoff. I'm pretty sure Coach Kane's is like, okay, who wants to Coach kick off? Coach Kane's like, hey, who wants to kick off? <laughs> <laughs> Peyton Tate yeah. bombs it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Hey, that was a good kick by Peyton Tate. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Coach, Coach has actually been asking who wants to try kick field go- or kick off, and they're just going out there and doing it. Yeah, I mean he's been asking yeah, Peyton there if he wanted to do it, and Peyton said yes. And the, uh, they need to let uh, what's his name, uh, Kobe. I saw him punting, practicing <laughs> punting after halftime. Yeah, it was pretty great. He was bombing them too. I'd Ooh. like to see him kick it off. Yeah, yeah, they've been practicing. Grundy lines up there in a shotgun formation. Wow. Giles County is still beating Signal Mountain 10 nothing. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, uh, wow. The quarterback getting Nunley. some yards on that. Ooh. Nunley makes about six After yards, his yardage, he gets, uh, he gets demolished. Notre Dame killed McMahon Central 44-7. Wow. Notre Dame put it on McMahon Central. Yeah. McMahon Central's actually not that bad either, so Notre Dame must be pretty good. Notre Dame has been doing really well this season. I hope they're not in our district. <laughs> I'm pretty positive they're not. but I hope to gosh because that's going to be a hard game. Yeah, Notre Dame's historically always a game that we don't do too well against. Oh, uh, 
Gunner County lines back up again in that same shotgun formation here. Yep. They and, oh. Only keeps the ball again. Being chased down by Hunter Davenport, and he is brought down in the backfield. That's a sack for Hunter Davenport. And uh, wow. Tanner Real actually took down the running back. It looked like he was going to run it. Tanner Real ran him over, and then the run, and the quarterback goes to the outside. Hunter Davenport just, I mean, straight chased him down. Oh, yeah. That was a good play by Hunter. He read that one like a book. He did. And he caught him, too, which is really surprising to me. I mean, he's got longer legs, and he's got a bunch of speed for the, a guy his size. Oh, yeah. But that quarterback's quick. It's third and six now. Score is 42-0, to zero, Scotia County Indians. They hand the ball off to number 80, and fullback. And he goes about a yard and a half, maybe. Alex Turner. Uh, I don't know if you saw that or not, Archer, but they was going at it down there. Oh, yeah. All, and the, number 37, that guy that keeps getting up hurt all the time, is going at it down here on the side, well, pretty much the sidelines. With Alex Turner, and Alex Turner put him on his butt. <laughs> Alex Turner's kind of talking to the ref there, and yeah, he was play. He was uh, fighting with him too long after the play. That's why Alex was wanting to talk to him about it. Yeah, but Alex put him on his butt. So, Gunner County gets ready to snap the ball off. Shotgun formation, three three wide receivers, and, and they I think call Coach a timeout. Tate, yes, Coach Tate calls a timeout. I do believe, yeah. Almost delay a game. I did Almost, believe that's what called yeah. timeout. I think they're just running timeout so we can't score on them no more. Yeah, that's kind of the point they might be <laughs> trying to get to. This this is already the highest scoring game squad you've had. Yeah. So, and we're in the third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. We got 330 left in the third quarter. This has been a great. Well, did this we have been a great game? We had one game go into the fifties, didn't we? Um, Wait, did we? I, I think we did. Did we have a game going in the fifties? Did we have a game go into the fifties? No, we ain't scored more than forty-three. Okay, so this this is the high scoring game. The most we've scored, I do believe, is forty-three points. Forty-two. We always it's always forty-two. Yeah, always forty-two. Which we made it to forty-two in the first, first half. half. Now we're at forty-nine. After that touchdown from Ethan Barker on the quarterback's sneak pretty much up the middle. Yeah. That's more like a quarterback tricks, what I'm going to call that. It's pretty pretty great, really. Yeah, that was a great play. And quarterback throws it to number 37. 37. He's got some yardage. I'm pretty sure that's the first. That's the first forward. pass with yardage. Yeah, first forward pass with any significant yardage. Is that fourth down? That'll be enough for first down for Grundy County. Wow. Okay, CCS, 76, Grace Baptist, 17. Ooh. Wow. The ball will be put on the 39-yard line. That could be our score right now. I don't want the 17 part. Yeah. The 76, though, I'd like to have. Wow. I mean, just, that's that's unreal. It's like 104 to nothing. <laughs> we played them Madden games where it's like, oh, oh he dropped it, it, and he's, he's sacked. sacked. Oh. Caleb Reed nice. on the sack there. Caleb Reed saw that ball hit the ground, and he was back there. Get some stats on the board. Yeah, nice sack by Caleb Reed. I'll be a loss of five yards, second and 15. He's got three sacks on the night. Man. And Tanner Reel's got two. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, Hunter Davenport's got a couple, too. Austin Stevens had that one. Austin Stevens had a killer sack. That loss was, of about eight yards. That was beautiful. Wow. He ran him over like it looked like Hunter Davenport had run some little kid over. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was that's pretty that great. Was, that was wonderful. Did I text my name on the score chat or Archer? Oh, another. Oh, it's not complete. Oh, wow, incomplete. And that player's getting up slow once again. Yeah, is that number? No, that's not number thirty-seven. That time. Nunley passed to number twenty-four, uh, Kevin Castro. And Kevin and Castro gets he catches the ball out. and just gets hit by about four players. At the by, same yeah, time. about four players at the same time and loses he got control of the ball. Sandwiched, yeah, and lost the ball. Wow. I'm surprised we didn't just grab the ball out of his arms. They tried to. They hit the ground before they could get a their hands on it, though. So. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. I do believe, yeah. I think they're going to run off the side. Another oh, one right no. Down. Oh, oh he pitched, pitched it. it. Off to the side, yeah. Who is that on top? Who is that? That's Alex Turner. And no, that's Hunter Davenport. Hunter Davenport. Why is he still in the game? They need to. No, that's Kobe. I'm, there was 37, Hunter Davenport. No, 17 got off the top. Oh, off the top? Uh, yeah, he come in from behind. Oh. Uh, he caught him from behind. Wow. <laughs> he flipped all the there, way over. Yeah, there too. was three. Alex Turner, Hunter Davenport, and uh, Kobe Reed were all on tackle, though. Kobe caught him from behind, and Ethan and uh, – Hunter got him from the front. Yeah. And he just Wait, went was down. it Ethan or is it Alex? Alex. I don't Alex. know why I said Ethan. I, I said it. Ethan. You said Alex. Okay, okay. I was I don't know why I was said Ethan. Yeah. You're thinking of Ethan Dunley on the other team. No, I was thinking of Ethan Barker. Oh, okay. Because he's back there at safety. Okay, I was about to say. Wrong team there, but. Yeah. I guess it's acceptable. No. Ethan Dunley's the one that got tackled. Yeah. <laughs> For another sack. Wow. It's now no, fourth. No, 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 He pitched it. They're going to go punt because <laughs> it is now fourth and – 16. Yeah. Let's see how this one goes. My goodness, he about lost that one. That's probably and the best punt of the that game. that goes out of bounds. That out of about, bounds. That's a bad call. Oh, okay, the rest walking up. Wow. And, wow, it goes out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Macaulay, 56. Pope, I'm pretty sure that's County, 21. Wow. Look at all these high-scoring games. It's today. a high-scoring kind of night. Yeah. We need to know the score. Yeah, we got to get into the 50s. We got to get into the 50s. We can do it. Even if Abraham has kicked a field goal. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if Coach Kane lets him kick a field goal today. I would. I mean, just to get into the 50 mark. Yeah. We, we need the points. And Oh, wait. Is it the end? Oh, it's the end of the quarter. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't paying attention this time. Uh, 49 nothing still. Starting the fourth quarter, finally. Which is kind of bad for Grundy, but, you know, whatever yeah. works, works. And now we'll get to see Grundy or Sequatchie. On their own 40 at the moment, or 40, 30-something. So, something right there, about 40-yard line with a 60-yard drive into the field goal, which I think they're 100% capable of doing. And, uh, I mean, I I think Grundy County right now is just kind of probably at that point ready to get off the field. But Oh, yeah, you know they're ready to get off the field. If they can find a little bit of a drive to play in this last quarter, they can make it interesting again, you know. Yeah. I wonder when they're going to start playing freshmen out on wide receiver. I don't know. Well, number 32, I've not seen him before. Who's that? I don't have my roster. Probably a freshman. We had oh, get, yeah, we gave our – We had uh, to give our roster away. Give our roster to the PA uh, announcer yeah. over here. He, he kind of – He needs he, it more than we do. Yeah, and he helped us out a little bit. So. Oh, that's oh, – yeah. Who was that? Number 28? Uh, I don't know. Adrian Jackson. Adrian that's Jackson, right. yep. He was – he got forward progress, but he lost four yards. Man, good good tackle by Grundy County. That was an amazing tackle by Grundy County. First one that big behind the line. Oh, yeah. Except that one they almost had on Maynard, which wasn't actually a tackle. Maynard actually got about the first down on that one. Have you seen 85 at all out on the field? 85, no, I have not. That's the girl player. Whoa, Tyner over Silverdale, 50 nothing. Heiner. Well, they had a more two-point conversion in there. My then. goodness. All righty. Let's see what happens. Squatchy lines up. It's a lot of JV players out there. Ball snaps to Adrian Jackson. He hands it off. And I don't know who he handed it off Number to. 23, I think, but I might be wrong. 23. That's probably a freshman. <laughs> yeah. Coach Kane just playing whoever he feels like now. We need another score first, Coach. Oh, another Adrian Jackson carry. Maybe Adrian Jackson is. Who's number thirteen? Oh, number thirteen. Oh, okay. Bloodsoe County he faked me is out. barely beating Brainerd by a point, seven six. That's good. I kind of would like Bloodsoe to beat Brainerd. Uh, I'd like it to at least be a bad team. I'd Whenever like those Chattanooga team. Yeah, Chattanooga team. All white team versus all black team. Brainerd has always been all white team. Have you yeah. noticed that? They've got a white kicker. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> they're good. I mean, they're really good. Have you good. ever seen a black kicker? I don't know. I, I haven't. Oh, Upperman's up 21-6 against DeKalb right now. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Yeah, this is almost all fresh mix. This is the lineman. Even the quarterback, which yeah. I can't remember. What's the quarterback's name right now? Clayton Casey. Is that Tammy Clayton? No, that's not Tammy Clayton's son. I'd almost have like to see a fake punt here. Uh, no, I see Chris Bethwick. They're going <laughs> to punt it. Yeah, I mean, they're Ethan Barker's going back there. It's going to be a punt. Yeah. It's I'd like four, to see Kobe fourth, punt it. Did you see it's him fourth and 15, early? yeah. But I would like to still see one. Just, like, actually get a first and ten there. I mean, that would be great. Seems like they're having some more electronical issues. Yeah, they are. We're not, surprisingly. Hey, that's because good. Verizon is better over here. It has been a great day. We've not had a single uh, issue with electronics all night. Surprisingly. It's been great. Oh, almost blocked. But he gets it on back. To, whoa, did it's it still going. Did it touch his foot? If it did touch nope. his foot, that's our ball. No, it didn't. But uh, Troy gets the ball down on the 21 from the other 20. Wow. Ethan Barker putting it on that kick right there. Meigs County, 62. Polk County, 27. Wow. Now, if that had hit him and we had gotten that ball, oh, my goodness. Wow, that would have been our ball on the 21 down there. Wow. East Ridge, 27 over Lund Lund How do you say that? Loudon. Loudon. Uh, eight. That's, That's final. Wow. Bunch of scores. Andrew's getting me the scores right now. Yeah. Wow. Hey, look. Tanner Reel's the only one that's in on the line that's normally <laughs> in there. Yep. Oh, that ain't even Tanner Reel. That's number 52. Who's that? Uh, Everybody on that line's new. Even the linebackers. It's a bad time not to have a roster here. I mean, Brent Gray is outside line. Ooh. Who's going to the hospital? I don't know. They it's might just be calling it out, but. Yeah, I think so. Ambulance is pulling out. Oh, and the police officers. Somebody had a wreck. Somebody's had a wreck in Grandy County tonight, guys. I would, I would assume so. Usually, I'd they? pray for him because uh, it's Grundy County. <laughs> They'll steal the rims off your car or whenever you wreck it. Did you know that uh, Grundy County was the highest rated in Tennessee for stolen cars? Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, they've got both ambulances going out and yep. two cops. Wow! That that's the whole field security is gone now. <laughs> really? Uh, there might be one more cop here. Yeah, there's one more. I usually have three. Yeah, they've got every cop in Grundy here tonight, so uh, they're all leaving right now. <laughs> there's only one. All, th all, three, of them. all three of them. <laughs> yeah, all three cops <laughs> in Grundy just left. Well, two of them. So there's one more still roaming around somewhere. Might better watch the uh, tires. <laughs> yeah, watch your tires and watch your wheels. Because they might be gone before you leave tonight. Grundy County takes the ball. And off the he's edge. getting some yardage because we're playing all. Oh! Yeah. Fumble! Oh wow. my gosh! What a play! Number 40. I Who was number 40? 40, 46. Uh, Dylan Ritchie. Dylan Ritchie? That's Whoa. the biggest hit I've ever seen in my life. Dude, that was crazy. That should have knocked his helmet off. I thought it did. I thought it did. That ball came out. That You thought the ball was the helmet? Yeah. <laughs> That was a forced fumble by Dylan Ritchie. Oh, my god! Out of gosh. just a sheer hard hit. What? He's at corner right Dude. now. I thought it was Brent Gray. I didn't get a good look. Oh my I did not I did not know Dylan Ritchie had that in him. But apparently he does. And I'll tell her over the Red Bank 48 nothing. Man, I mean, that was crazy. That's a crazy-looking play. Forced to fumble and just Wow. Because they're going to pull the same They lose play. yards on that fumble, too. If you didn't notice that. Yeah. Lost four, maybe five yards. He had gained because of the fumble. They uh, ran that same play and gained uh, about a yard on it this time. Do you know in the NFL now that uh, if so your team fumbles and you're an offensive lineman, you can't pick it up and run it anymore? I did not know that. You, you can only touch it and down it. Oh, man, that's awful. That's awful. Offensive linemen can't get yards now. The defensive lineman can intercept it and run one, or they can pick up a fumble. Why can't the offensive line? That's not fair. Oh, well. Oh, well. Is he throwing a pass? No, he got stopped right on the line. And now it is fourth and about, I want to say five. 
Yeah, this is going to be a good game for the uh, JV too. They get a lot of time. Oh, JV's getting a lot of time. They're going to get the whole fourth quarter. And it is already. It's still 49-0. Yeah. Hopefully JV will get a score in. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, 554 left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, our defense is holding against Grundy's just fine. I'm really impressed by that. That is fourth, amazing. Fourth and five right now. Dynamite is playing corner. Wow. Dynamite getting a lot of playing time tonight. Oh, wow. They're that gonna that put the punter ball. got back there about 20 yards. Ooh, who caught that? That was a good catch. Now the Number 20, Will Hales. Yep. Wow. I thought they threw a flag there because I saw – he threw uh, something, like the mark where the ball is at. Yeah. And somebody has yellow socks or yellow tape on their feet. And I was like, did you just throw a flag? But No, they didn't throw a flag. No. I was trying to figure out what that would even be for. I mean. Yeah. That's confusing. I don't even know if it was yellow. It just came out yellow. Is Grundy not going to play big number 78? Oh, poor I mean, I feel sorry for the dude. He needs to play. Oh, oh he's going in. in. Oh, oh, no, he changed his mind. <laughs> I thought our We words. was talking about it, and then he was about to go out there and walk right back off. I don't know what happened. He'll get to go in next time. I'm wow, about. come on. Let him play. And number, on the I roster. think, Clayton Casey oh, still quarterback. Going up the middle. Ooh. Who has the ball? I don't even know who has the ball. 27. Who's 27? Y'all might know who it is. We don't. I've seen the kid at school before. I don't know who he is. I feel bad not having a roster because I want to give out the names. For yeah, I know it. I know it. Wait, ain't the roster in your backpack in your truck? It, I might have a copy in there. I don't know. Wonderful. But truck's too far away. I'm not walking now. <laughs> There's like five, four minutes left in the game now. Yeah. Still 49 nothing. Maybe the JV's going to get a score in. Tiger Barnett. Did you see that? He just yep. came out. Old Tiger. Yeah. Oh, Antonio Santos is number 27. 27. Wow. He got a good rush on that one. He got a first down and a lot more. Andrew getting us all this stuff that we don't know right now. <laughs> Clayton Casey. Oh, Antonio running it again. He got forward progress, maybe two yards, and then got slung backwards. Yep. Well, they got number 78 out there. Oh, my God. Gosh, look at him compared to everybody else. That's a tank out there. That is a tank, and I'm pretty sure he's playing sin uh, nose guard. Ooh. My goodness. Oh, is he a linebacker? No. Why is he standing so far? Okay, no, he's on defensive end. The ball is. Who is on that end? It's second and nine, and the ball is at the 37 yard line. The score is still 49 0, Squatch County Indians. They put Big John in over there where Big Number 78. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> they had to, or he was going to get through the line. That's ought to be interesting. He won't even take a stance. If I. Oh, God. I don't think he could. Oh, he's taking a stance. There we go. Wow. Clayton Casey hands it off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just That Big Number 78 just about. Through, I'm pretty sure that's Joseph Colson. Oh, he threw Big John down. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he, he just touches somebody and they just go. What? No, not Big not Higgins. Uh, John, uh, Big John. Boston. Boston. John Boston hit the ground on that play. Third and nine now. Hey, Scott Schrader's in the game. Yeah, they need to put the varsity in and get one more touchdown. Yeah, because there's 2-11 left and it'll go to – Two-minute warning here in a minute. I'm sure they'll just run the clock out to a two-minute warning. Yeah. If they've got enough time to do that on play clock. Two, one, two-minute warning, and they did not call two-minute warning. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. That looked like it hurt, but he kept going. Kept on going. I don't know who that was. I think that was in Antonio again. Yeah. Okay, so that makes it now fourth. Tiger Barnett coming back in. Fourth and uh, seven ish. Yeah, fourth and seven. And uh, um, they're gonna go for it on fourth down. Well, I mean they're on the twenty or the thirty five. Let Abraham kick a field goal. Yeah. Come on, guys. Y'all gotta let him kick. <laughs> At least break fifty. It'll be fifty two to nothing. That's a pretty long. Tiger Barnett getting lined Bill up at wide receiver. 
I think they're going to throw a pass. A tiger or to catch a pass. Dynamite's out there, too. I'd love to see. Oh, throw the pass. Throw the pass. No, he's running. Oh. First down. First down. And plenty I more. I believe, maybe. First down. It's more. close. They might even measure that one. I think he's got a yard over first down. Who is that? Was that Antonio again? Oh, uh, Jackson. Adrian Jackson. Adrian Jackson, yes. Yep, Good run by down. him. That is a first down. Wow, they run it up the middle and get a first down. Yeah. That, that's a Brandon Rudd special. Yeah. Pulling the Brandon Rudd special out there on JV now. Well, Brandon Rudd hadn't played Whoa. too much in this game. Is that Abraham? Did Abraham yeah. just come in the game? Or was that uh, Adrian? I don't know. I don't see Abraham. One of them's 29 and one of them's 28, so. Uh, yeah, I think they're going for the. No. Are they going for a field goal? No. Okay. No. That's Adrian Jackson. I wish. If they would go for a field goal. I'm sure they will if they've still got enough time. Adrian Ooh. Jackson killed in the backfield. Yeah. No, wait. No, that was Antonio. That was Antonio. Oh, that's the end of the ball game, guys. 49 nothing at the end of the ball game. Oh, my goodness. What a ball game. Wow. We've we've had JV in since the middle of the third quarter. Oh yeah. And they Grundy didn't even play their one girl they have on the team. Yeah. She's a junior and they've got her listed as wide receiver slash free safety. I was I was really hoping to see how she played. Yeah. Uh because Cannon County had a girl kicker last week. Yeah. I don't think we got to see her play too much. I kinda always find it a shame. I almost like you kinda have to wonder is it just a biased issue, or you know, they just skill level, or yeah, well, who knows? But. I don't know if Coach Kane wanted to put him on him really bad or anything. I don't know why he didn't go ahead and get the field goal on that one. Coach Kane's never been a very put it on him kind of guy. That's that's true. I mean, he wants to beat you, but he doesn't want to kill you. Yeah. Chandler's down there interviewing Maynard right now. Yep. So we'll. Uh, I'm sure Chandler will tell y'all about Maynard. Actually, I think Chandler said that we were going to do a sideline wrap up. Today, uh, he said something about that. Yep, we'll uh, see if that actually happens or he's not. He's gonna have us on film, supposedly. This is supposedly, and we'll be talking on film instead of uh, you'll get to see us talking instead of just hearing us talking, or something along those De- lines. Depending on what Chandler does, he was not very uh, clear on it, he just kind of mentioned it. So, uh, he was not clear on anything, he never really is. <laughs> You know how hard this job is with Chandler Morrison running this thing? It's it's not easy. Hey, now that we have our roster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see here. We got a roster back. Yep. Who's number 52? We don't have a 52. Well, I mean, well, I, was, I was impressed by the game. That, that really – it didn't surprise me, but I was impressed. That's the highest scoring game we've had this entire season at 49-0. Yep. And we didn't let them score. That's what I wanted mostly. Oh, yeah. Even with our JV in for over a quarter and a half, Yeah, they still didn't score. So It was wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I mean, that's really saying something. So, But, I mean, I, I think there's not a ton to talk about here. This is Grundy. Like, these seniors, this is their last home game. Yeah, they got an away game against who next week? I'm not sure, but I know they've got an away game. I don't I don't think it's – well, wait, do we got Max Press on here? Yeah. I do feel bad for him. I mean, that's a that's a big blow to have um, as your last home game, you know, a, a loss 0-49. to 49 Against another Valley team. Yeah, uh, you know that's bad. Yeah, they're hurting out there. They really are. I'm looking up. Grundy on Max Preps right we'll now. We'll figure out who they are playing. Next week we play Upperman at home. Yeah, you will hear us at home next week. So p- come to the game or come join us. Depending on whether or not we get Spreaker. kicked out of the press box. I will have us a spot. We'll find us a way to get. Whether or not we sit on top of the tent or not. <laughs> We've had some battles for spaces. Oh, yeah. Here lately. but I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, wow. They update this really quick. Yep. Uh, it's already got end of the fourth quarter score on here for us. Who do they play? Smith County. They're going to get destroyed. 
Woo. That's another loss for Grundy. They're going to go 9-1. and one. Ouch. I mean. Wow. I feel sorry for them, to be honest with you. Yeah, that. What was, I mean, what's their high scoring game so far? Who, Smith County? No. Uh, oh, Grundy? Grundy. Cannon County. And they scored 37 points. 37? Well, no, 38 points last, or no, that was just 34 last year. Yep. Week. Wow. They've only had two games where they broke 30 points. And one was against York, and York still came back and beat them. Yeah. Uh, they got the 28 against Watertown, which was their uh, – Watertown was their uh, homecoming game. Yep. And uh, is that their seniors out there? Yep. Okay, I forgot they were doing that. Walking the field. Yeah, they're walking the field for their last time at, because they're not going to make it to the playoffs, I'm sorry to say. No, they are not. But neither will Cannon County. And if – well, no. We'll, we'll still be at least in the top three, whether we lose next week to Upperman or not. We'll be in the playoffs regardless now. Oh, yeah. we've. But Cannon County, Smith County, and Grundy County are all out. But we will not know till next week after all the games are done who as to who we play. one, two, and three. Yeah, and At the uh, moment, we're number three, and up the cab is number two, and Upperman's number one. Yep. So if – wait, did we get the final score? I'm pretty sure Upperman was beating the cab. I don't – they, they were beating them 21-6 to six last time in third quarter. Yeah. But if Upperman ends up beating the cab, which I'm sure they did, I'm, a, I'm about to look it up on Max Prep, see if they got the score. But, I mean – it's going to be close, and the way it works, you know, first seed plays eighth seed, second seed plays seventh seed, yeah, third seed. Yeah, if we're first seed, we got a definite two week, uh, week two playoff. Yeah, and third seed. So, we'll be playing either the sixth, seventh, or eighth seed. And, I mean, that's going to be a pretty, you know, those are all your bottom end. Yeah. And so, hopefully we'll be able to make it in the second round also. And from there, you know, it's hard to tell. When yeah. you get a playoffs, you cannot predict into the future. They do not have a score at all for Upper Mendy Cab at the moment. Nope, not yet. But well, Robert, that's been a, that's about it, man. That was a uh, yeah. good game, man. Uh, we may or may not have our sideline wrap up, so uh, Chandler's calling me. Hold on a second. Okay, folks, that is uh, all we have for you tonight. Thank you for listening. Uh, this is Spear Sports Network, the official, the official network. Uh, this is Spear Sports Network, uh, the official network for the TSSN radio. And um, I'm Archer Thompson here. And I got Robert Easterly here. Do what now? I was going to say, I'm closing it out. So, I'll start uh, talking. Okay, yeah, we're going to close this out right now, and uh, we're going to go down to the field with Chandler and do a sideline wrap-up. Oh, God bless you all, and thank you for listening. All right.